Hello, everybody. Welcome to a TEW thing. I'm Swarles. Uh, normally, I'm with Nick. Nick is not here this week. He could not be with us. Uh, it's got, got a little bit of a migraine. And listen, book, booking these shows is a headache all on its own. So I understand not wanting to do the stream. Uh, but I, you know, I still wanted to do something. So we're starting... A new series, maybe? I don't know. We'll see how much more of this we actually do. Uh, this is uh, the 1992 Chronicles mod by Fleisch, and we are WCW. We are Jesse Ventura, and we have uh, taken over WCW. Also, if if you, you know, you're tuning in for the AEW stream, which I'm sure a lot of you are on YouTube and stuff, it'll be back next week. Uh, we just couldn't get together to do it this week, so that will continue. Uh, and maybe this will continue. I don't know. Listen, if this video does well enough on YouTube, I'll, I'll find a way to upload WCW content. So, I guess, I, <laughs> I guess I'm doing the like, comment, and subscribe up early. But yeah, let's click around. I really haven't done much in this mod yet, other than look around and see what's going on. Um, let's start. Let's go to the office. Uh, we have Clash of Champions in 15 days. We have a TV show in two days. What are our TV shows in 1992? Our main show is just World Championship Wrestling, which makes sense if you're if you're not familiar with the convoluted ass history of WCW. World Championship Wrestling was a television show that Georgia ran, and then that eventually became the name. It, it's a whole fucking thing, but that's the name of our show. Yeah, don't. I'll do it, Lyle. Don't make me do the pre you aren't subscribed thing. I'll do it. Uh, and then we have main event on Thursdays, and then we have a lot of Clash of Champions, which checks out. And, uh, we have a lot of dormant stuff, because this, this, this is a mod that's set up where you can run it for, like, 20 fucking years. So, like, all the stuff is there, you know, in, in case you're, you make it to 2000 and you want to add fucking Hogwild or whatever the fuck, uh, you can do that. Um, let's check our product. I did look this off screen, but I figured you guys want to know. We have the NWA Evolution style. Uh, so we're 80-20 for events and then 65-35 for TV, which I think will be fine. 46-60-40 uh, based on in-ring action and popularity. Uh, fans do not like dangerous, controversial, or bloody match types, which I don't know if I agree with that. Um... I mean, I guess by 92, WCW had gotten pretty corporate, but I still think their fans would have fucking loved the bloodbath. Um, matches less than 15, I can't get world-class ratings, that's fine. No eye candy, no death matches, no dangerous match setups, uh, no risky angles, no sex appeal. Very buttoned up here. Uh, everyone needs a gimmick. Fans expect a lot of storylines. Major matches will be penalized if they don't have an associated storyline. Ooh, that one could fuck me. I could definitely see that fucking me. <laughs> I am very bad about remembering what storylines are going on. Uh, we don't use the hardcore calculation at all. Which is really bad for, like, Cactus Jack. But for the rest of our roster, it should be fine. Attractor to sponsors. Well, that's good. Uh, stay in the wrestling industry. Using stump bumps will give a boost to segments, but fans do not like crazy bumps. We can do stunt bumps, boys. Uh, people love seeing someone get unmasked. People love seeing, uh, someone get their head shaved. So we can still, we can still do Lucha Skiff. I, okay, there's a little behind the curtain stuff. I texted Skiff, hey, I'm going to do a 1992 mod tonight. Do you think I should do WCW? And the other one I was going to do, chat, if you don't like this, you can yell at Skiff and the Big Dog. I said Herb Abrams UWF because that was terrible and like it's not like we could do worse than what they really did. And then he was like, you should do Triple A. Like I would know fucking anything about Triple A in 1992. I don't know anything about Triple A now. All right, let's look at our champions. Uh, oh, the light heavyweight title is here. We, we just happened to be in that little window of time when that was a thing. And we have Jushin Thunder Liger. He's here. That's fun. Uh, Rick Rude is the U.S. champion. Tag champions are Steve Armstrong and Tracy Smothers. Oh, what was their name? 
they were like the 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 gun. It was something gun. I like I keep wanting to say smoking guns, but obviously that was the WWF one. Lex Luger is the WCW heavyweight champion. This is also a very bad time for the WCW title. Ric Flair was the champion, then it was vacated. Ric Flair's in WWF right now. Uh, and then Lex Luger is won the vacant title. He's also a heel, I believe. So we have heel Lex Luger as the world champion, which is not great. Uh, we have Ricky Steamboat and Dustin Rhodes as the, the world tag team champions. We have United States and world tag team titles. Everyone loves a mid-card tag title. And then we have stunning Steve Austin as our television champion. Listen, I'm not going to be mean to Lex, but him him as the top heel is not great. Uh, I want to look at our announcers, because I feel like our announcers are probably shit. Look at JR. JR Dusty, and then we got Siobhan. I mean, that's a good crew for events. Oh, we gotta get we got to get Bill Watts off commentary. That's brutal. Alright, so uh, JR. Who else we got? Oh, Paulie's here. Uh, aren't we here? Yeah, we're here. We must be really good, right? Yes, we are very good at color. Uh, so I'm gonna I'm gonna put myself on color with Jim Ross. That'll be good. <laughs> yes, Jr. is alive and listen, listen, look at this Jr. He's gonna be alive for a long time. At least until 2023. Uh, WCW main event. Oh, Magnum TA is also very bad. Oh, you hate to see that. We're going to put Paulie on there with Siobhan. Oh, yeah, Paulie's really good. Although, I think he's managing people. Uh, is Missy Hyatt any good? No, she's really bad. Hayes. Hayes. Hayes could be good. Although, he's probably not. Um. Oh, Dusty. I don't think Dusty's a wrestler. I think he's just... Yeah, we're going to put Dusty on commentary with Shivani for main event. That's fine. All right, let's look at our roster. That's like the one thing we haven't done. Yet. Oh, we have uh, Lex Luger has major morale issues. That's why. What's wrong with Lex? Uh, he's mad at his booking from December 91. Mad at being refused a full pay raise in 91. Ooh. Yee, ooh. Hey. Ooh. All right. Um, Lex, buddy. Uh, here's a grand. <laughs> Okay, no, no result. It's a, a grand means nothing to him. Lex Luger wipes his ass with a thousand dollars. All right, let's go through this roster. We got beautiful Bobby Eaton, who is pretty good. Uh, we got Abdullah the Butcher, who is uh, less good, a little over, already fifty in nineteen ninety-two. We have Alexandra York. The York Foundation is alive and well in nineteen ninety-two. <laughs> Man is here. Okay, uh, Brad. Ar I mean, Brad Armstrong is a good wrestler, but uh, listen, he's not—he's not being a rack man, all right? Uh, wow, he had a lot of shitty gimmicks, huh? Bad, Bad Street, Freedom Fighter, Buzzkill. I don't know any of these. I mean, I know Bad Street, but I don't want him to do that. Um, I kind of just want him to be Brad Armstrong, man. Do we have a picture for just Brad Armstrong? Oh yeah, we have many. We'll go with this one. Brad Armstrong. Short name, Brad. Yes, save that as an alter ego, sure. Alright, we don't have a number. Hey, Brian Pillman! The more things change, the more they stay the same. He's here. Uh, yeah, he's pretty good. Cactus Jack is here. He's very good at brawling and hardcore, although unfortunately hardcore means nothing here. Uh, but they do like to brawl, so that'll be useful. David Crockett is here. I don't, I don't think we need to keep David Crockett employed, although this... It might be a political nightmare getting rid of people in this mod, although I don't know. Let's find out. 
No, we can get rid of David Crockett. That's fine. We have DDP, who should just be a manager in 1992. Uh, manager color. I guess he is an occasional wrestler at this point. But yeah, this is this was before DDP was really a thing. So he's not a good wrestler, but he is very charismatic and very good on the mic. So that is something to keep an eye on. Dustin Rhodes is one half of our tag champions. And he's like, okay, which checks out for 1992. Dusty, I was right. He's only an occasional wrestler. How over is Dusty? Pretty, pretty damn over. So, we're, I mean, obviously we're keeping Dusty around. El Gigante is here. Man, El Gigante is like genuinely one of the worst wrestlers of all time. Like just just really really brutal. But also I kind of love him, but I I think I, I can't imagine I can't imagine him being any good. Plays dominant well. Squash Master. I don't know. We're going to run a lot of squat. Listen. Let's keep him around. Eric Bischoff. I mean, I'm pretty sure all he does at this point is do commentary. Uh, he's kind of okay. We could use him as like a backstage interview guy. Firebreaker Chip. Firebreaker Chip is one of those like, you know, I've heard the name on like wrestle crap and stuff. I don't know if I've ever actually seen a Firebreaker Chip match. He doesn't seem good, but he could probably job. George South, he, you're here to job, brother. You ain't going nowhere. Gordon Soley. We have a Gordon Soley, but he's not doing any commentary. Uh, he's not especially good at it. That's probably why. I mean, he's good, but he's not, like, great. Harley Race is a manager at this point of his career. Uh, which he was not especially good at either. But listen, I'm not firing Harley Race. Jason Ventura, that's us. Jim Ross, he's not going anywhere. Jimmy Garvin. Jody Hamilton. Why is Jody Ham Jody Hamilton manages, uh, but like they're not even good at talk. They're like okay at talking, I guess. Listen, I Jody Hamilton is like a before my guy, uh, before my time guy. I don't. Uh, we're paying him a lot of money. <laughs> uh, he has an ironclad contract. Oh, he's a road agent. He's a road agent. Okay, okay. Never mind, never mind. He's exclusively a road agent. That's fine. Joey Mags. I have no idea who that is. Mark Marrow. Yeah, he's got, but he could be good, a uh, good high flyer. Ooh, late career JYD. That's rough. Got, got, got a lot of reds over here for JYD. Liger. Ooh, Liger's really good. Liger's really good. Holy shit. The only thing for Georgia's and Alex Luger match was a terrible promo. Yeah, you know, Lex. Lex isn't a talker. Kip Fry. Kip Fry uh, was some, like, executive guy. I'm pretty sure we could tell him to go pound sand. We probably, we probably took his job. He was probably the fucking booker or whatever. And, uh, but now, but now Jesse Ventura is in charge, so Kip Fry can go to hell. Uh, Lance Russell is here. You know, you, you never know when you'll need Lan Lance Russell. Larry Zabisco is an active wrestler. What a, <laughs> what a time. It feels so weird to see Larry Zabisco and not just be like, oh, he's an old, an old, uh, guy. Like, no, this is... He's 38. I mean, he is an old guy by the era standards of the time, but 60 over. He's got tech. Larry Z's getting booked, brother. All right, let's look at our world champion. Our world champion's got like a 70 over, and he's not good. So that's probably our first, our first thing is like, who's Lex losing to? Uh, Medusa is here, but we don't do women's wrestling. So she's just a manager. Magnum TA at this point of his uh, career is retired, and he's a very bad announcer, but it's Magnum TA. I can't fire on my head. Luger is out for 30 days? Legal reasons. Legal reasons. 
Is it going to give me anything more than that? No. <sighs> Managed by Harley Race. Harley Race is going to get a lot of TV time for the... Probably this entire fucking save. Uh, very young Buff Bagwell is here. and Oh, he's very bad. Oh, my God. <laughs> Baby Buff is awful. Uh, Michael Hayes. Crazy that he was 32 at this time because he was already, like, a burnout, like, on the way down guy. Hey, these guys, you know, they lived hard in the 80s. Uh, we got a ref. We got Mike Graham. What does Mike Graham do? He's a road agent. I don't think he's... No. No, he's not a road agent. Fuck off, Mike Graham. <sighs> Barry Wyndham will be mad if I get rid of Mike Graham. Missy Hyatt's here. Mr. Hughes. Mr. Hughes is very bad. Oh, boy. Uh, hey, he trained, he trained AR Fox, though. He's got that going for him. Uh, I, don't, I don't think we need to keep Mr. Hughes around, though. Nick Patrick, the WCW referee. Okay, Ole Anderson has to go. I, I assume he's like a locker room, yeah, gloomy personality. I assume he's just going to cause a bunch of fucking problems because he's Ole Anderson. Uh, Tom Zank says, great idea. Dusty Frode says, great idea. Yeah, no, get the hell out of here. Where are we? We were at, oh, Pat Rose, no idea. Jobber, I assume. One of the other ways you could always tell if someone is a jobber is if this is what their photo looks like. Clearly a still shot from a TV show, you know what I mean? They don't have, like, a, a professional 8x10. It is what he says. He sat on his contract and went to the WBF. Mm. Was that this early in his contract that he tried to get to WBF? Because this is January 92. I thought that was later than January, but I don't know. Anyway, Paul Heyman's here. Paul Heyman is extremely good at talking. And he's pretty over, too. PN News. PN News isn't as bad as I thought he'd be. He's got decent hardcore and brawling. Good, really good uh, basics, too. Uh, Randy Anderson, referee. Richard Morton. The York Foundation. I know WBF is 92. I just didn't think, like, I didn't think that started right at the beginning of the year. I thought he was here for a while and then left. Anyway, this was when Richard Morton, uh, they turned Ricky Morton heel and he was a yuppie. And he was uh, managed by Alexander York. WCW was weird in 1992. Rick Rude's a heel. He's our U.S. champion. He's like, he's only okay. I mean, he's got good psych and he's over. And overness carries you a lot in this product, so... I mean, that's good to have. Rick Steiner. The Steiners. I feel like the Steiners should be more over. 40 sons of the Steiners. Ricky Steamboat is very over and very good. Oh, boy. Ricky Steamboat is great. Rip Rogers. Rip Rogers, uh, just for his, like, Twitter, can go suck shit. I don't... I'm not going to book Rip Rogers. Ron Simmons is here. How over is Ron? 63, pretty over. Good at brawling, but not really much else. <laughs> Why aren't you doing a WBF save? What would that even be? Uh, Scott Armstrong is here. Uh, Scott Armstrong, if you just, if you ignore the hair and you look just at the face, looks exactly the fucking same. No difference in that face. That is still what he looks like. Scott Steiner looks very different. Ooh, the Steiners are pretty disappointing. They're not... I thought this save was going to be, like, all about the Steiners. They're both just, like, all right. Sergeant Buddy Lee Parker. You got to keep him for the power plant. We got another Armstrong. We got too many Armstrongs. This is Steve Austin fella. How's he? Good at brawling. Decent hardcore. Technical. I feel like his technical should be better at this point of his career. Like, I know once he becomes Stone Cold, he wasn't very technical. But at this point of his career, he was, like, decently technical. Yeah, Steve's okay. Charisma. Eh, eh. 
Stang, how's Stang looking? Stang's over. And he's okay. I mean, I think that checks out for Sting at this time. Ted Turner. Why is Ted... Why? I'm like, listen, I'm not going to fire Ted Turner. But what's he doing here? Uh, is, is Ron Simmons a baby face yet? Yeah, he is. Okay. Uh, Terrence Taylor is here. Oof. The Diamond Stud, Scott Hall. Uh, it's pretty bad. It's pretty bad. Uh, Muda is here for like one more show. His his uh, He's about to go back to Japan, I believe. So we got to make that one count. Italian Stallion, Tommy Rich. Todd Champion, Tony, of course. Tracy, Man Hammer. He was not as bad as I thought he'd be. Vinny Vegas. Oh, oh, Vinny. Vinny is more over than I thought he would be and somehow worse than I thought he'd be. He's so bad. And then we got uh, the Z-Man Tom Zank. That's the roster. So let me look at... I want to just look at, like, who are our major stars. Ooh, Dusty and Ricky Steamboat. That's not great. And then who would be just stars? Lex, Rude, and Sting. So I feel like our first program basically has to be Lex and Sting. I mean, it just... its The matches won't be great, but they're over. The Lex isn't even here. Fuck. Uh, and then who's the next one down? Who is well-known? We got Arn. We got Barry Windham. Vader. Okay, Vader's close. Vader's close, and Vader is very good. Uh, I think much like WCW did at the time, I'm going to look around and go, I should push this Vader guy. Uh, Dustin Rhodes. Gordon Soley. Yeah, yeah, this, you know, this roster, it, it's interesting, but it's... I thought we'd be doing better popularity-wise. Check Lex Luger contract. Okay. Uh, three months left. So I, don't, I don't know. It says leave. So I mean, we do have to get this title off him though, for, like for sure. Uh, not just is he, uh, not great but like he's mad at us and probably not going to resign he's probably going to the wwf um but listen we need storylines so let's go we just oh we have stuff in here already okay we have one in here with a hundred heat with like everybody in it oh my god oh do i want to just delete a storyline with a hundred heat because I really don't want to keep anything going. I don't... Uh, what is This is like the Dangerous Alliance versus Sting. Is that what this is? And I guess Dustin... I Listen, I don't... We're moving on. Add storyline. Sting Luger. Get this belt. Off Lex. Oh my god. Sting. Lex. Alright. Who is... Who is Rick Rude gonna go into a program with? I would say we have to be a well-known babyface. Who do we got? We got Barry Windham. He's a babyface. Vader would be a heel... Uh, Ron Simmons. I mean, we did say we wanted to push Ron Simmons. So let's do Ron Simmons and uh, Rick Rude. Uh, 
All right. Uh, and I want I want Vader to be doing something right now. I want to give him a program. Uh, any stars left? I mean, very windows right there. They would probably have good matches. Yeah, Vader's gonna take on Barry Windham. Oh, he's big van Vader. Yep. And then Barry. Alright, well, I don't know if that's going to be enough storylines, but we'll do that for now. Um, WWF is probably going to release a bunch of people, but e even then, let's let's look at who, who's out here. Who Who's available in 1992? Who are the... Fr I mean, right off the bat, you got Gold Scorpio staring you in the face. Although, boy, he's not over yet, huh? Um, let's do some searching. Let's look for, like, let's look for people who have, like, 40 overness in the USA. Wrestlers can work in USA to hire men. All right. Kyo Saito, Al Perez. Ooh, very old Andre the Giant. Don't love that. Uh, B. Brian Blair. Bad News Allen. Bad News Allen's in, doing a New Japan tour? Good for him. Bam Bam. Bam Bam! Bam Bam is a heck of a brawler? Uh... Pretty good. He's 40. Yeah, we got it. We got to bring it. Bam, bam. All right. Bring it in. Bam, bam. Uh, Billy Jack King. Bob Backlund. Bob, Bob Backlund's only 42. He's out. He's he's working UWFI in the Indies. What a weird, what a weird time. Bob Orton Jr. Got the Bushwhackers out here. We got Butch Reed. Dan Severn. Dan Severn is 33 in 1992. That's crazy. Uh, Dan Spivey. Dan Spivey's already 39. Uh, if you don't want to keep track of a real storyline, you could just pick a championship and add a ton of people to the storyline. You could call it U.S. title scene. And any match that includes those people count towards the storyline goal. Wow, that's... Ooh, that is some five brain stuff. Thank you, Tarnhold. I would have never thought of that. You know, Bravo is 43. Uh, Dynamite Kid. Was Dynamite Kid wrestling in 1992? I mean, I guess he was, but. Uh, Eddie Gilmer, tell me to fuck off. Eddie Gilmer's pretty good, though. Oh, he's the ECW booker. I don't even think I could even sign him. Okay, Valentine, Haku. Exclusive WWF written. Oh, his contract must be about to run out. That must be what's happening here. I don't don't think I'm going to steal him. Uh, Hercules Hernandez is not great. Honky's not, not touching Honky. Go away, Honky. JW Storm. Who is JW Storm? Why does he have a 48 overness? I don't... Chat? Chat? JW Storm? Anything? Uh, Jerry Lawler. Jerry Lawler is not in the WWF yet. Uh, not not touching Jimmy Snuka. But <laughs> there he is, Skiff, Jimmy Valiant. He's 49. He's got charisma and he can dance. Uh, Kamala, Kempatera, Kevin Von Erich. Is he wrestling? Apparently he's wrestling. King Kong Bundy. King Kong Bundy's only 34. 
Got the other Bushwhacker. We got Manny Fernandez. Marty Janetti, I guess his contract's going to run out. Marty's not bad. 50 over. I don't know if he's worth stealing. I don't know what I would do with him. Oh, you know what? I do have... I do have that light heavyweight title. Maybe Marty comes in and works for it. What do you want, Marty? I have no idea if that's too much for Marty Jannetty or not. I don't know what the market is in 1992. <laughs> I have no idea. Chat, what do you think about Marty Jannetty? Let me know. Got Nikita Koloff. Eh, he's not great. Although he is over. A little bit. I'm actually surprised he's not on our roster already. I guess he must. Have, I guess he must have wrapped up in '91. Uh, Nikolai, one man gang. No interest in one man gang. Oh, no love for Marty in the uh, chat. Paul Roma. I don't think it was per match skip. I think it was a written contract. Although I wasn't super paying attention. Got yeah, Samoans. Uh, got the Samoan Savage. Yeah, Samoan Savage is okay. We got Samu. Shane Douglas is unemployed. He's not good. Stan Hans. Oh shit. Oh fuck. Very over in Puerto Rico. We might have to bring Stan to Puerto. Listen. Listen. Fuck. Too small. What? What do you, we're like the number two company in the world. How are we too small? Is he like godly over in Japan? And that's, oh, that's what it is. He's like a nine. Yeah, he's just like, I'm not, listen. I'm not going to go, go do upper mid card matches in America when I'm doing Budokans, brother. That, that makes sense. Get that bag, Stan. We should start a working alliance with all Japan. That's actually, like, a good idea. Uh, Stan Lane. Steve. There are not as many people. So I assume Dr. Death is probably going to do the same thing to us, right? He's going to be like, eat shit. <laughs> I'm an all-Japan god. Yeah, he's very over in all-Japan. <laughs> this is the most accurate <laughs> TEW pop-up I've ever gotten. Oh, I think Dr. Death's a great idea. <laughs> I think we should make him world champion. Yeah, thanks, Jim. Uh, Dr. Death will work for us. Yeah, it's, it's 19 two per month, Skiff. Um, although, if we did exclusive written, it would probably be more. Uh, yeah, he's very good. I will say one of his best stats is Puro. Well, we don't have a lot of Puro guys, but we, we could have a lot of Puro guys. All right, let's go, Dr. Death. Terry Funk. Terry Funk's working all Japan, too. Terry Funk can still go in 1992. Doesn't matter that he's already 47. Dusty wants him. Uh, Harley wants him. Cactus wants him. Oh, that's a lot, though. Oh, that's a lot. Ooh, I don't know if he's worth 50 grand a month. Dr. Death was like 16. Oh, we'll think about it. What's Terry Gordy doing? Uh, I would imagine it's similar. How over is he in Japan? No, not as over as that. Yeah, we could probably sign Terry Gordy. Uh, yeah, I, I bet you guys think that. Getting the brand back. Oh, he wants a lot too. 22 grand. I don't know if he's worth 22 grand. What did I give Dr. Death? I just want to double check what I offered him. Yeah, yeah, we know. Yeah, Dr. Death got 19. I guess he is more over than Dr. Death because Dr. Death's only like a 50. And Terry Gordy's more like a 60. Yeah, we'll give it to him. Although I will say, 
that does mean like Terry, like, yeah, probably not giving Terry 50 grand. Sorry, Terry. I could get Gordy and Steve for the price of, do of Terry. Oh shit, we can sign nails. Pay Funk per show, it's way cheaper. It, that is a lot cheaper. Yeah, we probably wouldn't book him more than a couple times a month. That is, that's a good call. Tell me a sign through your rent contract that I expect around 6300 per show. Yeah, that, that's fine. That's fine. It's Terry Funk. Bro, we could sign nails and then we could we could start Russoism like five years early. You know what I mean? We could have him come on and be, fuck Vince McMahon, <laughs> fuck the WWF. I punch Vince McMahon in the mouth and I'll do it again. Uh, the Sheik is out here. Tiger Mask. Tiger Mask is unemployed. Tito Santana, Tiny Lister. Tully. Is Tully still working? Apparently Tully's still working. I feel like Tully shouldn't be working. I feel like he would be done by this time. And then Wahoo McDaniel. There weren't as many over people as I thought there would be. Though we, I mean, we got... We just signed a bunch of hosses, basically. We signed Bam Bam. Uh, we signed Bam Bam Dr. Death. Uh... Terry Gordy and Terry Funk. I mean, yeah, this is pretty good signings, actually. It's pretty good. Get Tully for Arn. Isn't Arn already... I should look at my teams, actually, because isn't... Yeah, he's teaming with Bobby Eaton right now, which, is, I mean, it's a pretty good team, but it's not, like, a great team. Uh, Ricky Morton and Tommy Rich are the York Foundation, I guess. Steamboat and Rhodes are our tag champs. They're, it just kind of seems like two dudes. Uh, Sting and Lex... This team's not going to last. Uh, we got the Freebirds out here without Terry. Now, do we bring in Terry as a Freebird, or do we do him in Dr. Death? That's that's the question. I think we I think we do him in Dr. Death. I, I immediately am seeing the Steiner brothers, and I'm like, yeah, that's the match. We run those guys against the Steiners. That's, like, what do we do? The Young Pistols! I knew it was something with guns in it. I knew it was something with guns in it. And then Windham and Rhodes. Is Dustin the Dustin the Tag Slut Rhodes just teaming with everybody. Uh Mang Barbarian Raven. I don't I don't know if we want 1992 Raven. Who's probably in the game as Scotty Flamengo. Nope. He's in his Raven. He's working as Scotty the Body. Oh, he's actually really good. He's really good at brawling. He's really good at hardcore. Uh, could be really... Yeah, no, Raven's really good. I mean, he's not over at all, but he is really good. And he wants, like, no money. That's fine. Oh, fine. Yeah, okay. I mean, Scotty Flamingo was all right, but he didn't wrestle like this. These are Raven stats. Scotty Flamingo was just like a junior heavyweight. This this game is jumping the gun. They're giving me Raven in 1992. This should be Scotty Flamingo. Uh, Oh, he's in the WWF. That's why we don't have the Barbarian. That checks out. Um, I think we're probably just going to move on for the day. We, we have two days until our TV show. Also, I'm sure WWF will release people. Although, 1992 WWF, I don't know how many of those people were even going to want to scoop up. This was kind of a dire time. Uh, New Japan is split with UWA. Uh, 
they have a TV deal with KDOC. Okay, great. They have a developmental deal with UWFI. That's weird. Uh, All Japan's doing a bunch of stuff. You know what? I thought we would get a bunch of releases. Nirvana's dropped. Uh, glad that's a point in the game. No, nothing really. Uh, oh, I you. IWCCW have made a contract offer. I don't even know who that is. I don't think we have to worry about that. I, I think... I would assume he's gonna... What is... What's the... What's the rival offer? 1200 for per show. No, we're offering him way more money. I can't imagine he would take that. Uh, Terry Gordy... Ooh, all Japan's trying to keep him, and Smoky Mountain's trying to keep him. All right, we're in we're in a bidding war here for Terry. Uh, new rival offers. Ooh, all Japan's giving him thirty a month. Terry, Godspeed. We we got you that all Japan bag. Uh, have fun. Doing the Puro. God bless. Terry Funk got a Oh, WWF, you bastards. You bastards. You, I, as always. All right, what are they offering you? I, yeah, we know, we know. Yeah, I know Cact Cactus. I'm trying to book you and Terry Funk. That's why I'm bringing them in. Uh, rival offers there. <laughs> oh, my God. Well, Terry, yeah, you're going to be a millionaire, brother. Have a, congratulations. That is a comical contract. Okay. Uh, UWF, who else is trying to get him? All Japan, He's. we're probably not getting him either. What are they offering him? UWF, 15 a show. A show? 15 a show? Oh, 100 grand a month? Okay, people are just throwing money around. Like, it's going out of style, man. I, we don't... Okay. Never never mind on Dr. Death. Uh, PWA, I think that's just an indie. I think we're fine on that. Also, like, it's not the end of the world if Tracy leaves. Yeah, he's only on a handshake contract. Listen, you can work in Indy. I don't I don't care. That's fine. Uh, Gordon Soli, whatever. We ran a house show in the Tri-State and drew 400 fans. Uh, WWE's using licensed music now. Is that going to hurt us? Don't think so. No, we're also using license. Okay, great. They're catching up to us. I <laughs> hear this Kobashi kid is good. I don't think we could sign him. Uh, Cause like, I mean, we're second in the world where we're only medium. Like, I don't think we could get those guys to leave Japan. I think they would just be like, you know, thanks, but no thanks. Yeah, exclusive written. No, we're not getting Kenta. No, sh no shot. Check alliances. Yes, we were going to do that. Good point. Good point. Uh, oh, we're in an alliance. We're in the National Wrestling Alliance. New Japan's here. All right. Okay. Who's New Japan got? Let's look at this roster. Noki, Arn's doing shots there. Vader. El 
Samurai, Scorpio, Hiro Saito, Hiroshi Hase, Tenzan. Yeah, Tenzan. This, this is like young boy Tenzan. That's crazy. Uh, Liger San. Well, we want to keep Liger. I like if we if we drop them, we're gonna lose Muda and Liger, right? We don't want that. Kensuke. Kensuke is not good yet. That's a shame. I was gonna bring Kensuke in. Koji Kanemoto, he's not really good yet either. And there's just a lot of WCW guys. How's Chono doing? Chono's all right. I mean, he's not... He's good, but he, oh, he's pretty over in America for whatever reason. Good for him. Uh, I think we're just going to stay with our New Japan alliance here. I don't... Ooh, Scott Norton hasn't come over yet. Ooh, Hashimoto is very good. We we should we should make Shinya Hashimoto a thing in America. Yeah, I think we'll stick with this New Japan deal. I think that's fine. Oh, did I go right by Kojima? Did I not even look at him? Oh, didn't even recognize him. Look at this. Look at this baby. Oh, he, he's... Look at this. He, they think this kid could be good. I think I agree. All right, let's just go forward. I think the only person we're going to end up getting from that signing spree is Bam Bam. Which is a shame, because the rest of those guys would have ruled. You could, I mean, listen, we could add all Japan into the alliance, but I mean, that's just, that's just nonsense. That would never happen. <laughs> oh no, Stan turned heel. And John Tenta got hurt. Oh, Raven. We got Raven. Uh, we're doing a TV show tonight, right? I, I have no idea. I imagine our TV shows are just going to be like squash, squash, squash. One, like here, here's a match match and that's the whole show. Because I'm pretty sure it's also only an hour. Jacksonville Coliseum. Wow, it's... AEW <laughs> and WCW really are just the same thing. No difference. Alright, this is our A show apparently. Who's absent? Abdullah, Lex, Scott Armstrong. That's not bad. Also, I believe we need a storytelling match every show. Oh, this show must be between 85 and 95 minutes. Okay, I guess it's a 90 minute show. That's weird. Uh, okay, well, that's that's different than I thought then. All right, let's start with the angles. That's what the people want. That's what they want. Eric Bischoff. He's backstage. He's talking to the Stinger. You know, Sting, what's the, what's next for you here in WCW? And he's going to say, you know, me and Lex Luger. You know. Me and Lex Luger, we've been friends for a long time. But this new attitude of his lately, I don't. Uh, oh, why is Bill Watson? Bill Watson is supposed to be on commentary. I thought I changed that. That, okay. Well, is it too late to go back and change the announcers? Yes. Okay, I don't feel like changing it for every match, so we're probably just, we're just going to leave him for this week. I don't know why he's there, though. Anyway. Sting's gonna be like, hey, uh, like you know, Lex Luger used to be my friend, but uh, he's ever since he won that WCW title, he he's been acting strangely, and I, I think it's time for a Stinger to uh, go after that title and teach him what's what. So we're gonna do that. Uh, 
Other storylines are Simmons, Rude, and Vader, Wyndham. Do a Vader squash match. I'm pretty sure that'll go great. Uh, these, <laughs> these are weird default matches to have, but all right. Then we go six minutes. Vader. Sorry. Big Van Vader. And, uh, who's a jobber? Italian Stallion, how's your selling, dude? Eh, pretty good, actually. Alright, Big Van Vader. Beating up the Italian Stallion. It's exactly what the people want to see. Big Van Vader. Uh, when Nick does this, he doesn't even say dominate, but I think I'm going to tell him to dominate. Vader's going to win. And then after that, we're going to do an angle. Where once again, Eric Bischoff is going to be backstage talking to Barry Windham. Barry Windham is not impressed. Vader squashing guys. He hasn't been tested by a real star. Me, Barry Windham. That's that. Uh, and then Rick Rude and Simmons is our other one. Uh, all right, we'll also do. We're gonna do an angle for that one too. Rude has a manager, doesn't he? Am I wrong about that? It, Rude, is Rude managed by Paul E? I think he is. Uh, yeah, he's a member of the Dangerous Alliance. He's definitely managed by Paul E. Okay. Eric Bischoff getting a lot of screen time. I almost fired Eric Bischoff, and now he's in, like, every segment. All right, so he's going to be interviewing Ron Simmons. Ron Simmons is going to talk about going for the U.S. title. Paul Heyman is going to show up. Excuse me. Holy Dangerously is going to show up. Be like, you can't, you know, you you could never take Rick Rude. You're not in the same league, etc., etc. And then Rick Rude is going to attack Ron Simmons from behind. Strax, Simmons, or Rude Attack. All right, let's give these people, like, uh, let's, let's figure out what this main event of this show is. Uh, what am I doing with Dustin... What am I doing with Dustin and Ricky Steamboat? They are our tag team champions. Uh, Ricky Steamboat is really good, and I would like him to not be a tag team champion. And I think Dustin Rhodes is a super boring babyface. So I think what we're going to do with these guys is we're going to go and we're going to set Dustin Rhodes. Not Dusty, Dustin. gonna start laying laying the groundwork for a heel turn skiff you want me to just throw liger versus muda out on this tv show we're telling stories here bro so we're gonna do dustin and ricky steamboat uh so we need to begin the against heels we need i i assume uh, the face heel divide in this company is probably very hard, although I don't remember it saying that, but I, I'm just assuming it is. How are Hayes and Garvin? They're decently over. Yeah, let's do Hayes and Garvin. Let's do this match like 16. 
He's not leaving tomorrow. He has one appearance left. Uh, this is for the World Tag Team Titles. And Ricky Steamboat's going to win. Oh, we need a storytelling match every show. This will be the storytelling match. We also are telling a story. So that works out. And then we're also going to close with an angle. It's Dustin. Ricky. Oh, God. What are we going to read Dustin on? Acting, I think. Ugh. We'll just do Ricky on overness. Dustin is very jealous as Ricky celebrates. All right, man. Don't let me down, Dustin. Do not let me down. Okay. 45 more minutes. Let's get some matches going here. Also, maybe, maybe with the people that are left, we could figure out some uh, some feuds or some angles here. Cactus is a heel. Do we have a face that can brawl? I mean, obviously there's Dusty, but he's an occasional wrestler. Jolly Dad cannot brawl. Uh, Raven. Raven can brawl? Raven's a heel, though, and he should be. Rick Rude, Rick Steiner. Are the Steiners? The Steiner? Yeah. Steiners aren't great at brawling either. You know what? Once Bam Bam comes in, we could bring Bam Bam in as a face, and that could be the uh, that could be the match. That could be the match. So I think for now we'll just give Cactus a squash match win. So we will do Cactus against I don't know, George South. No, George South is a heel. Uh, Joey Mags. There you go. Cactus Jack and Joey Mags. Six minutes. Not going to put domination on this one. Cactus wins. That's our match. Austin title defense. Yeah, we could do that. It is It is the TV title. So Steve. Steve's a heel. Who do we got? Who do we got? What's Brian? Brian's a face. Would that feud have happened? It must have, right? The uh, the Pillman Austin feud. Or has the Hollywood Blondes not even happened yet? I'm not sure about that. I'm not sure what the timing is on that. Uh, Johnny B. Bad. Johnny B. Bad is a person he could beat, and I wouldn't care. I think that's fine. Yeah, he could wrestle Johnny B. Bad. Austin over JYD. I mean, the JYD match will be very bad, but also, yes, JYD is very bad, and we're never going to push out Mandy. Yes, that, that's a good call. Uh, Junker Dog might also complain about losing to Steve Austin, but I don't really care. I mean, Steve can cheat if... We, it, if, you know what? He should cheat anyway. He's a, It's 1992, and he's a heel. He should cheat. Uh, so he can get a tainted win. I'm fine with that. It happened. Okay, so we don't want to just go back to that. That would be annoying. Uh, I, need, I need more talking. I need more talking. Dustin, Ricky, hype, main event. Basically all there is to that. And you know what, since we need so many storylines, why don't we just go ahead and add Dustin and Ricky.
DDP Vegas and Diamond Stud match or a promo? I don't know about match. <laughs> promo, maybe. I don't know about match. We'll see. Uh, I'm also going to have... Uh, Michael Hayes and Jimmy Garvin. Hype up the main event. Freebirds are winning tag gold tonight, baby. The main has that. That's right. It's, we're we're telling. I told you. We're telling stories. Uh, we got like twenty more minutes, so that's like a couple squashes or one real match. Although I feel like giving people two real matches is already, you know, we're already doing better than a typical WCW show at the time. Uh, oh, Liger should have a match. That's that's a thing. See, this is why the WCW light heavyweight division didn't really work at the time, is because like you got Liger, who's the champ, and that's cool, and then like. The only guy he could wrestle is Brian Pillman. Uh, no, yeah, like, I guess he could wrestle Z-Man, but it wouldn't be great. Also, he's a baby face. Who, uh, who's local? Who's, oh, a lot of people. Look at, look at this. Look at this young Al Snow. Hate that. Don't like that at all. TV title would be the perfect time to do the storyline cheat. Yeah, totally. Uh, is there anyone here who is good at uh, Ariel? Let's see. Uh, nope. Yeah, I mean, I guess I just have to remember that. Uh, it's 1992. No one's going to be good at Ariel. That's just... It's just... You know, it, it was the style at the time. <laughs> New, New Jack's here, though. Siva Avi. I mean, he, he could be good. He was over a little bit. I mean, I don't, I don't know how good that would be. Swole. I feel like this guy's way ahead of the game. That's a that's a 2023 name. Vampire Warrior. Yeah, let's put him out there with Siva Affy, man. What? Sure. Uh, you're gonna work heel because Liger's a face, I think. Actually, I'm not. Let me double check that before I do that. He's a baby face. Yeah, I was correct. Okay. You're working heel, brother. All right. So we're going to do it's like 10 minutes on these guys. Liger. Siva. Put the belt on the line. Why not? Who cares? WCW doesn't. Liger is winning, obviously. See if it's a middleweight. Uh, let's see if it matters. It doesn't. <laughs> Game doesn't care. Uh, I actually don't. Uh, I don't know if the, how the title is set up. Well, sounds rather. No heavier than middleweight. Okay, yeah, that, that that's what the limit is. That worked out. All right, we've got like seven more minutes, uh, and we really should use it on segments. So we will do that. Uh, who have we not? Dusty. Dusty should probably. Oh, we're a star. That's the thing that's... Oh, we're, you know who's opening the show? We are, baby. 
Jesse Ventura is coming out. I'm not scripting myself. Welcome to the new WCW. See, that's why he's not on the commentary, because he had to come out and uh, welcome everybody to WCW in his opening promo. <laughs> Super crazy rule. Yeah, something like that. Uh, and then... Oh, Dusty would be of great use in this Dustin Rhodes feud. I'll, I'll have to put that in my back pocket. Uh, we will hear from Harley Race. We'll make sure to put this after the Sting promo. Also, I have no idea how good Harley is at talking. So we are gonna we are gonna do a cheat, uh, and we're gonna rate Sting's overness. <laughs> Harley, will relay Sting's message to Lex. Lex will respond when he feels like it. Dustin attacks Dusty. Look, week one, brother? Come on, we're slow build, slow build. That's like after the heel turn, you know? And then Dust, the Dusty's like, Dustin, baby, I didn't raise you like this, daddy. And then, then, then he beats up his old man. All right, I feel like welcome to the new WCW and then a flippy match really gets that idea home, right? Like, here's the thing you wouldn't have seen before. Uh, where is that sting? Oh, I didn't name it. That's why I couldn't find it. Uh, we'll put that, like, way down here. Yeah, back to back. Sure. Oh, this is a lot of promos in a row here. Let's, uh, let's get Steve Austin down here. Cactus with Jeremy Mags. Okay, when we're not press. Yeah, I think this is good. DDP, Hall, and Nash try to pick up. You know what? Listen. Actually, you know what? I'm curious. We're going to book a dark match. I want to see how bad Vinny Vegas and the Diamond Stud are. Because I think they're going to be very bad. <laughs> uh, so we'll put them out there. I assume they are both heels. Yes. So who are they going to wrestle? Van Hammer. I mean, they could wrestle the Steiner brothers, but that would be crazy. They're going to wrestle Van Hammer and PN News, baby. The rap rock uh, fad is getting started early. Give this like seven. Now yeah, we'll go eight. We'll go eight minutes. And you know what? I don't even care who wins, so we're just draw. <laughs> uh, you guys can go to double count out. That's fine. It's 1992. Also, I'm gonna I'll find out if our fans hate draws or not. Uh Raven Dark match. I don't We'll save that for later. All right, we're going to run this for now. I'm not even going to hazard a guess. I don't know. Also, I don't even know what, like, what's a good rating for WCW 19. Like, I don't know what I'm shooting for. All right, we got a 52 on this dark match. That's not bad. I thought this would be worse. Vinny Vegas and the Diamond Stud showed excellent chemistry. That, that's another thing where this, I feel like the game's kind of looking into the future here. Being like, oh yeah, these guys are a good tag team eventually. Don't think they were one in 1992, but I thank you game. You're throwing me a bone. I appreciate that. Uh, 
Throw yourself a commentary for the main event. Um, it's fine. I think. I don't know. We'll see how bad the commentary is once the show starts. Uh, us talking got an 84. We, we might talk a lot. Uh, <laughs> we, we might put ourselves on the show a lot. Uh, that went very well. Uh, 66 on this? Oh, Jushin Thunder Liger is very good. Yeah, we are, uh, we gotta sign some flippy guys for him to wrestle. That's, uh, I mean, this guy got a 35, and we still got a 66 out of this. Uh, what was wrong here? Eric, oh, Eric Bischoff wasn't scripted, and he sucks. Alright, well, let's we'll remember that for the future. I should have just let Sting cut this by himself, because I need to see how good Sting's promos are. This did worse than Harley Race. Don't love that. Don't love that at all. But I'm going to blame that on Bischoff. Like like most of WCW's problems, I'm blaming it on Bischoff. Uh, this wasn't good, but uh, this wasn't really supposed to be good. Oh, they had good chemistry and this still was good. This was supposed to get Steve Austin over. That's what we're doing here. We don't care if this match is good or not. Uh... Okay. Thought these guys would kill it without a script. I don't think they've ever followed a script in their lives, but what do I know? Ooh, this one was much better. Uh, yeah, neither of those. Neither. Somehow, Dustin Rhodes doesn't need a script, but the Freebirds do. I don't, I don't know about that. Uh, Sergeant Buddy Lee Parker. Okay. He's off road agent duty. Thanks. Thanks, but no thanks, Sergeant Buddy Lee. Uh, this went fine. Because people weren't following a script. Okay. So, seems like more people need scripts than I thought. Which, I don't know. All these old wrestlers always tell me back in my day, no one had a script. I don't know. I thought they didn't need them. What's going on? Ooh, a 70. Yeah, we got the squash match bonus for here. Also, Vader is very good. Oh, boy. Okay. I mean, that checks out, but... Love seeing a 70 for just a squash match. That rules. We will be doing a lot of squash matches. Uh, Barry Windham talking. Not great. Good main event. Good main event. Uh, pretty much entirely carried by Ricky Steamboat, who is, like, a god-tier worker in this save. Uh, which checks out. I mean, it is Ricky Steamboat. Also, the announcing was fine. We didn't even get penalized for it. I'm still gonna take the Waltz off commentary, though. Uh... Steamboat's, Steamboat's uh, going to be in a feud with Dustin Rhodes, who's his tag partner, who's going to turn on him. <laughs> but it's, uh, it's what we're doing here. As, as Dustin jealously watches Ricky celebrate after their win. It's got a 72, which is better than I thought that would do as well. We got a 68, which lost his popularity in four regions. All right, we got to try a little harder, I guess. I thought that was a good show. I don't know. What, what do I know? Uh, we would have gained popularity with the girls restricted by no viewers there, sure. Oh, we don't have... Well, we got dinged for the storylines. Okay. Well, we started a bunch of storylines. Although, I don't know how many we need. I think it just said we needed, like, lots or several or something like that. It didn't say a specific number. But now that they're started, I think we should be okay. Uh, <laughs> ECW wants Gordon Soli to... Okay, sure. Uh, let me check the product, actually. Uh, 80% uh, angles. Reach by 35. Uh, Fans will expect there to be lots of ongoing storylines. Chat, do we know if lots is a specific number? Because uh, it just says lots, and that's not really helping me. Uh, Dustin Ricky's pretty hot, though. 
Simmons and Rude is it could be hotter. Stinger and Luger is not hot. That's we that's a problem. Uh they oh Vader Windham didn't start because I didn't advance it with that Vader Windham promo. That's on me. That's on me. Three to six. Three to six. Got it, got it. Uh so yeah, once once we get these all going, we should be good. Three above fifty heat. Uh, that'll be fine. Two of them are already above 50 heat. And Sting and Lou... We, when we have Sting cut a promo without Eric Bischoff involved, it'll be over 50, so that's fine. Okay, not worried about that. Oh, I was gonna look at High Flyers, because I need people to wrestle Liger. Because I don't have any. I mean, Too Cold is right here, but I'll do a search anyway. Uh... We want wrestlers, can work in America, to hire, with an aerial of like, I don't know, 70? <laughs> this is not what he still looked like when he was 18. This this photo is not accurate. Uh, Akira Hokuto, okay, well, all right, let's... Men. I mean, we should probably just sign too cold. I mean, it's too cold. Uh, Vader's excited about it. He wants, like, no money. Let's do it. He wants more than... He wants a little bit more than no money. Actually, he wants a lot more than no money. But that's fine. Lawler. Brian Lawler's got big potential, baby. They they thought they thought he could be a big thing. They thought he could, you know, they thought he might be it. Oh. Oh, he's really good. Uh I don't want to book Chris Benoit, man. I mean, that's I know he's good and I know they would have at the time, but I just don't want to do it. It's a bummer. Especially when we could book Chris Candido, who's way better, and 19 years old, which is wild. Uh, yeah, we're gonna sign. We're gonna sign Chris Candido. Fine, we'll give you more money. Chris Jericho, Chris Jericho, baby. Uh, yeah, he's really good. I mean, it's, it's Chris Jericho, not over at all. <laughs> He has a one, uh, but we're going to sign him. Should probably just start offering these guys 6,000. That would save us time. Uh, Derek Dukes. Who's Derek Dukes? Devin Sullivan. Eddie Guerrero. Hmm. This unemployed Eddie Guerrero fellow. I don't... Oh, he's already... He's already extremely good. Uh, yeah, we'll, uh, yeah. We, I will give you literally anything you want. Look at this Jerry Lynn photo. Look at this Jerry Lynn photo. Oh, my God. Man, we're just bringing the Cruiserweight division in a couple years early, huh? We're, uh, we're just doing this. I mean, how do we not? How do we not sign Jerry Lynn? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kid Cash. Damn, Kid Cash is good. I don't know if I'm going to sign him, but Kid Cash is good. And Storm is good. Also not over. <laughs> Trider. I, all right, we're not signing Mitch Ryder. Also, why does Mitch Ryder have a 70 overness? Ooh, Mike Awesome. Mike Awesome, obviously not a junior, but ooh, Mike Awesome. Good at brawling. Good at hardcore, which doesn't really help us. Oh, I like Mike Awesome a lot. Nova. Nova is really good, too. Uh, I'm going to sign Mike Awesome. I don't, I don't care, man. 
He's big. Mitrider. Why why is Mitrider so good at aerial? Well, I guess he's not really. Uh, Perry Saturn. Perry Saturn is like really good too. Alright, I wanna find is there oh Ray Mysterio is probably like god tier, yeah. Though he's 17. I don't we're gonna, I'm not gonna sign a 17 year old. I'm just gonna draw a line there. RVD. RVD is okay. I think of all the guys we've looked at, he's one of the worst ones. Sabu. Sabu's really good. Sabu's really good. He's over in the Great Lakes. So that's about it. Uh, Sean Waltman. He's not in WWF yet? I guess he's not. Yeah, he's Sean Waltman's last thing. He's not as good as... Like, Sabu's way better. We're bringing in Sabu, baby. Heal Sabu and Babyface Jushin Liger? That's a match, bro. Shane Helm is a 17. Not, I'm not signing any 17-year-olds. I'm sorry. Fundaki's really good. Uh, Skyd is out here. Super Kalo. WCW Legend. Super Crazy. When he's still a junior. American kickboxer? Man, everyone has so much potential. Uh, oh. <laughs> Wait. Hold on. Why? Why does... Okay. I don't... I don't think... To, oh, Ultimo. Ooh. Yeah, we gotta sign Ultimo. Wellington Wilkins Jr. All right, I think uh, I think we're gonna call it there on the signings. I, th I think we already signed too many cruiserweights, to be honest. Um, because these guys are not over at all. Hopefully, main event is like a B show, uh, and then we could just you know that's where the cruiserweights will uh, hang out. I'm not signing Waltman Skiff. He wasn't. He's like one of the one of the worst guys we've looked at. Honestly, everyone else was like better. Uh, I mean, Tiger Mask was also like okay. I mean, he's more consistent than these other guys, but he's over a little bit too, I guess. But I don't know. I mean, he he probably would have good matches with Liger though. Which is what we're looking for. We're looking for people to wrestle Liger. How much money does Tiger Mask want? A lot. Yeah, no. <laughs> Alright, sorry Tiger Mask. Uh, main event is tonight. Okay, and then we're, we're doing Clash of the Champions in 12 days. So, uh, we'll, we'll shoot for that. That'll be our end target for the stream. Put, we'll put Muda on that show, I guess. That'll be his his goodbye. Do a jizab for somebody. Okay, this is in fact a B show. The problem, though, is none of those cruiserweights are here. Uh, Fifty Vegas and Harley Race. This has to be wrestler's court. Uh, annoying everyone with his cocky attitude. Okay. That's fine. Buddy, we don't even have a cruiserweight title. We have a light heavyweight title. It's 1992. We, we You have to start a division before you just add a tag title. Like, we don't even have a division yet. You know what I mean? Anyway, what were we doing? Right, B show. I assume the show is an hour. Yes. Okay. This is this is just rampage, baby. All right. 
let's give people a match, like a decent-ish match for our main event. I forgot to change the announcers again. Oh well, I mean, this was the B show. This one matters even less than the other ones, but. Uh, Brian Pillman didn't work the last show, so let's do Brian Pillman. Uh, he's like 40 something over. Oh, he's not even that over. I just kind of assumed he would be more over. B show means Steiner squash. That's that's true. That is for true. Oh, Raven's heel. Let's put him out there with Raven. Okay, this is no longer the main event of the show. This is just like a fun match we're booking. We're booking Brian Pillman and Raven. We're giving them 10 minutes. Brian Pillman's going over. Oh, Tony Schiavone is the only announcer here. That's not okay. Uh, who did we put for the second one of this? I don't remember. I'll just put us out there. We will have Sting. Is Sting not here? Where's Sting? Oh, a lot of people are working New Japan tonight. That that explains a lot, actually. All right. Well, Harley Race is here. Uh, so let's so Tim Entertainment. He is going to talk about oh, all. He's going to talk about Sting and Lex, who are off screen. Three minutes. Advance the storyline of Sting Luger. Harley tells us that Lex thinks Sting is a backstabbing coward. <laughs> Too bad we can't have Taz not giving a shit on commentary. I mean, we could sign the Tasmaniac, brother. Uh, let's do that Steiner squash. Six minutes. Rick Scott. Who I assume are baby faces, yes. Unimportant. Who do we have down here? Abdullah the Butcher is unimportant? Oh, it's because I have. No? Okay, I don't know. Something's happening here where it's not. Oh, I guess under. I guess yeah. I guess that would be unimportant. It's under recognizable. This, oh, whatever, man. I just wanted to see jobbers. That's all. Uh, we should we should at least do heels. Boy, with all those guys in New Japan, there's uh, a lot less people here. Looks like you guys are wrestling George South and Pat Rose. Good luck out there, fellas. Also, that's Rick Rude. That is... This is what happens when Nick's not here. I don't... I almost don't catch that stuff. There we go. Scott's gonna win. And you know what? Just, just dominate. I'm just gonna put the note on. Just, just kill these guys. No, not George South. Now I'm getting sloppy. Now I'm just getting sloppy. That would be crazy if George South dominated and then lost. <laughs> uh... Alright, it took me way too long to book a fucking... Alright. 
Uh, I assume Paul is here, so Paul is going to do the same. We're doing the same manager gimmick here. Though don't script him, I don't think he needs it. Where he will talk about Rick and Ron. Who are, although these guys are both here. But you know what? Rick will talk then. Rick can be on screen. Ron will be off screen. Rick and Paul. Barry Simmons. He could never be US champ, etc. Okay, get some of these angles popping now. Uh, and then Barry Windham will finally start that. <laughs> He will finally start that Vader promo, or angle rather. Oh, because he's not here. Okay, Vader, off screen, entertainment. Basically the same window promo. But this time, I start the feud. Yeah, remember that promo he did on uh, the Wednesday show? He's just he's just doing it again because I forgot to advance the storyline. That's that's what's happening here. Also, just to make sure on this one, okay, and the Rick and Paul one. Yeah, just just to make sure, just to make sure. We will, uh, Simmons Rude. <laughs> yeah, I'm surprised uh, Scott never tried to replace his brother with a recruiter and just hope no one noticed. All right. We got to do, got to get some more matches on the show, I think. Boy, I hope New Japan isn't running this many shows. <laughs> uh, like, you know, every time. That would uh, that would be bad. That would be bad for me. Steamboat, Simmons, Rick Rude. Give Simmons a match, I guess. That this will be the main event people get. Oh, he could wrestle Abby. He could get some overness over on Abby. I don't think Abby can go very long. I'm gonna give them eight minutes. Ron is obviously going over. And boy, look at the momentum. Ron Simmons is building. For his U upcoming U.S. title match with Rick Rude. Did I put Jesse on commentary here? No, I did not. Couldn't do that for the matches. Don't really care if he's on it for the promos. Uh, we got a few more minutes. I actually have too much matches. I should add more talking. El Gigante. Oh, fuck. All right. As I say that, chat's going, El Gigante squash. Fine. You win, chat. Elegante's a baby face, right? Fuck, he is. Okay. Uh, I think we're out of straight up jobbers. I think. Yeah, none of these people are straight up jobbers. So let's go local talent. I'm just going to search selling like an 80. Is anyone like super good at selling? Oh, we got a couple. Al Snow is very good at selling. These other people are more like 
potentially good at selling. Yeah, no, Al Snow. <laughs> Al Snow, you're getting squashed by Elegante, brother. Oh, Cactus Jack is excited. Uh, he's a heel, yep. Yes. Six minutes. El Conte. El Snow. What a match. I did not think when I started this we would be booking El Conte versus Al Snow. But here we are. Gotta stop just double clicking dominate and assuming the game will know who I want. Jesse, Jesse, we need you out there on this one, Jesse. Jesse, please. Uh, Ron promo after Abby match. Yeah, I like that. Ron Simmons. Entertainment. I think he needed a script. I don't remember. If Ron can beat Abby, he can beat Rude. USA, USA, USA. Uh, we have five more minutes, and we should probably book a promo. So, you know, we gave these guys a dark match. Now let's let them talk. These guys, although five minutes would probably be too long. We'll go three. So we'll go Diamond, Dallas, Page, the Diamond Stud, and Vinny Vegas. No, uh, no targets here. Just, just yakking. Hey, we're cutting a promo here. Hey. Uh, and then who else gets to talk? For like two minutes. How about this Steve Austin fella? Just see how that goes. Not gonna script him either, cause I mean, old, old cell code doesn't need a script. Austin is the best TV champion and will never lose. Well, you, you, what, you, we need more Raven, and the match isn't enough for him? Alright, what are we... Actually, we're going to open this show with Raven. We're going to we're gonna give people what they want right out of the gate, which is Raven. Uh, got a promo. El Conte and El Snow. <laughs> uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yep. Uh, what are you... Let's do Rick burying right before the Ron Simmons match. Wrong way. There we go. Wait, no. Too many. There we go. All right. That's that's the B show. All right. Chat, chat. Do you want to book a dark match? What, what do you want, chat? Here's who's uh, not been booked yet. You guys want to see Big Josh? Uh, Marcus Bagwell, who's very bad. Uh, I don't know. There's no one I really want to book, but... Cactus versus Bagwell. O okay. I mean, Cactus is going to win. Uh, 
I am interested to see how bad Marcus is. Because I don't have high hopes. Big Josh and a partner versus the Young Pistols. Uh, okay. Sure. Putting the North American Tag Champs on the, uh, on the dark match. Who is, who is it? It was, it's Tracy Smothers and Witch Armstrong. Steve. Okay. Steve and Tracy. Against Big Josh. Who I assume is a heel. Oh, he's a babyface. This is an all babyface match. How could you do this to me, Skiff? Big Josh and Firebreaker Chip. The gimmick guys. Give him 10. This is a dark match. I'm gonna put Tracy over. Alright, that's it. No, that's this is not a title match. That's fine, game. The pistol the pistols are heels? They are heels. You mean to tell me these two smiling, happy cowboys are heels? <sighs> WCW, man. WCW. Uh, this did fine. I mean, it was all cactus, but it did fine. Uh, Bagwell's probably a guy that's mostly just going to do jobs. I will not be pushing him way too high up the card like WCW did. Uh, it was better than this match. Uh, Firebreaker Chip was really the uh, the Achilles heel here. He was he was very bad. He was very bad. Pillman and Raven was okay. Uh, Raven's getting a twenty-eight. Eh. Yeah. Yeah. Only gets the win. Steve Austin cut in a promo? Pretty good. Not like great, but pretty good. Better than these guys cut in a promo, that's for sure. Hey, we're <laughs> cutting a promo here. Uh, Barry Windham talks shit about Vader. That feud's going now. Yeah, this, this is not good. <laughs> <laughs> this match cooled the crowd. <laughs> Maybe six minutes was too much. Maybe I should have given them, like, two. <laughs> uh, part of the race. Lost his uh, heat. Went, all right. Great. 48 on this one. I really thought the Steiner squashing two guys would do numbers um like maybe these guys aren't the best at selling but damn bro it's the steiners you know like all time all time squash match guys uh paulie talking good although i think recruit probably heard us here which is bullshit recruit recruit is a good talker uh ron and abby was fine Uh, then his promo was good. No notes. This just this show came and went. It was on people's television in the background. They half paid attention to it, and then everyone moved on with their life. <laughs> Steve Austin promo did better than the one on the JR tribute show. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Bam, Bam Bam can't be fucking go into this other company, right? Like, if I remember correctly, their offer was shit. Yeah, they won't give them $1,000 a show. We're giving them 15 a month. Uh, 
said the same thing. Okay, he's definitely he's signing with us. I just wanted to make sure. Just double checking that he was basically signing here. Uh, Terry Gory stayed with All Japan. Good for him. Uh, New Japan has dropped out on Terry Funk. They did what we did and saw WWE was offering six figures a month and went like, oh, <laughs> all right, have fun, Terry. Uh, New Japan tried to put wow everyone. This this save started and all of us tried to sign these guys. Uh, Dusty is gone from New Japan from the loan period. Sting's loan period is over. Okay, so it looks like that won't be a regular thing where half my guys are in New Japan. That's good. I was afraid about that. Uh, anything interesting going on here? Chris Candido is entering a new feud. Not for long. He's about to work for WCW. Uh, okay. No TV shows for the near future. Isn't is there not one next week? Oh, before I forget. Announcers. What happened to it? Why didn't... No, I didn't. No, no Bill Watts. This is the A show. We want Jesse here. Save. And for main event. Okay, Dusty. Oh, Dusty was in New Japan. That's what happened on that show. Dusty was in New Japan. Okay. We could put a third person on in case he's gone uh, again. Like, we could throw Eric on there. Yeah, let's throw Eric on there, just in case. That way, if Dusty goes to New Japan or Dusty's doing whatever, at least Bischoff can be on commentary. Although, I still don't know what happened with the first one. Bill Watts should not have done commentary on our first show. I definitely replaced him with me. Alright, who's here? Bam Bam's here. Let's go. Alright, before I sign Bam Bam, let me double check something. Because he's going right to a feud with Cactus. Cactus is a heel. Okay, I thought so. I just wanted to double check. Bam Bam... You are coming in as a face. Uh, Candido. I always associate Chris Candido with being a heel, and he is. Okay, great. Jerry Lynn. I can't get, I can't get over this picture of Jerry Lynn. It looks like one of my mom's friends or something. Uh, Jerry Lynn's a heel. Jerry Lynn's a heel. Yeah, I mean, we want people to feud Liger. Sure, he's a heel. Sure. A lot of these people not coming in, which is a shame. Uh, yeah. Oh, they altered the terms! Okay, hold on. What, what are the terms now? Oh, they're giving him more! They're giving him more money! Holy smokes. I thought maybe they, like, put it up a lot and then people dropped and they gave him left. No, they were giving him, like, 100 and... It was, like, 101 or something? Now they're giving him 170. Wow, they really want Terry Funk. All right. Hey, man, listen, you can have... I, I wanted Terry, but I don't want him that bad. Damn. Now All Japan's in on Terry? Oh, that's what happened. All Japan tried to get in, and that's when Vince was like, no. WWA New Jersey have made a contract offer with Tracy Smothers. All right, great. And we did a house show in the Mid-Atlantic that drew 700 fans. Business is booming. going on over 
here. Anything interesting? A lot of things are happening. So Blinn can work better than 2003. I mean, he was okay in 2003. That Listen, Jerry Lynn was great in 2003. That, that mod had some issues. How's our boy Norman? Speaking of 2003 ROH save, Norman's pretty good. Norman's got really good tactical. Very good basics. Boys, 2003 ROH is back. Also, I just remembered a thing that we forgot to do. Uh, Sergeant Buddy Lee Parker, I need you to not be a road agent, bro. Owen Hart database check? I mean, it's 1992. Why, why wouldn't he be here? Uh, he hasn't come up or anything because he's he's in the WWF. I mean, you know, Chris Mullaw is here. See, there he, there he is. Uh, he's okay. You know, it's 1992, Owen. He's not top of his game yet. Not even that over, really. Ooh, okay. The cruiserweights are here. Uh, Scorpio's a face, yeah. Liger, Liger's gonna need some friends. You know, too cold's a face. Chris Jericho. Chris Jericho face. Let me let me let me think about that one. Let me think about that one. Mike Awesome's here. He's a heel. Agree. Sabu. He's definitely a heel. Now these three guys. How do I want these guys to come in? Because these guys all would have been big baby. Well, Ultimo was a baby face. No, who's who's gonna boo Ultimo? Hmm. Hmm, who's the better heel in 1992, Eddie Guerrero or Chris Jericho? Oh, Eddie's a heel by default. Okay, it'll be Eddie. That's fine. And then Jericho could be a face. Problems solved. Uh, okay, Bam Bam just took both contracts. That's fine. All Japan has also altered the... There is a bidding war for Terry Funk. I have, like, never seen this in the game. This is crazy. People are just throwing money at Terry Funk. Wow, they matched it! 18 months, 18 months. All shows, 10%. Oh, WWE has a much bigger signing bonus, though. Ooh, it's a tough call, Terry. I, I don't oh I think we'll change I think we tape WCW on Wednesday and it goes on on Saturday that makes that makes sense that that checks so is that going on after main event I don't know or is, that, or is main event not aired yet either I haven't paid attention to that I probably should Oh, Regal. Yeah, we can check for Regal. I would assume he's very technical and maybe okay at brawling. Although, at this point in his career, he wasn't... Probably just more technical, but we'll see. Oh, no. Earthquake got surgery. Tiger Mask joined New Japan. Who would have seen that coming? Gordon Soli, sure. Uh, Dr. Death also stayed with All Japan. Good for him. ECWA wants to book Tom Zank. Feel free. We have a lot of people on 
handshake deals, which is fine. Okay, main event did air later. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. So everything is still chronologically correct, which is... That's fine. Regal. Oh, we got Steve Regal and Steven Regal. What a time. Uh, yeah, I mean, he's really good at technical. He's like, okay at brawling and puro. Good basics, good selling. He's a little over. He, he's not, you know, he's not not over. We, we can definitely sign him. Wouldn't have been that much later than 92 that he actually came in, right? Would have been like 93 maybe? This photo of Rob Van Dam looks like it was like AI smoothed or something. But is this is that just what he looked like at the time? Was he he just wrinkle free like that? Am I just used to looking at old Rob Van Dam? Hey, Norman's here. Uh, face, yeah, of course. Uh, Gordon Soli's Gordon Soli calling ECW. What a what a world. Tracy Smothers is working in Indy. And we did a house show in Puerto Rico. All right. Four, doesn't seem like drawing 400 trains is worth uh, flying everybody to Puerto Rico, but I, what do I know? I'm not the business guy. I'm just the booker. Actually, I think I am the owner. I, so maybe I should check it on that. Yeah, I don't know. It's me, Horse Boulder. Oh, it's official. WWF got their guy. So did PWA. What what's that what does that final contract look like? Uh Yeah, one seventy. Yeah, good for him. Good for him. Congrats, Terry. Now that's a nineteen ninety two dollars too. Oh, okay, we're doing Saturday night tonight. Okay, let's go. Okay, let's not run this Jacksonville venue every week. Let's let's mix it up a little bit. Although we might be much less popular. Yeah, we are kind of we are kind of just a southeast promotion at this point. Although Mid South and Mid Atlantic were also pretty popular. Uh, let's do the Mid Atlantic. Baltimore Arena, sure. Alright, so we are six days away from Clash of the Champions. So this is kind of like a go-home show kind of thing. Uh, so let's see. Lex Luger will not be here. He is still out for like two more weeks. So what am I, what am I going to do with Stang at that show? I think Harley Race is probably going to find a... Find an opponent. A hand-picked opponent. Uh, to take on the Stinger. Oh, maybe maybe Cactus... Maybe that's Cactus Jack. And then Bam Bam debuts at Clash of the Champions. Maybe that's what we do. Sting versus Muda. Is, is Muda a babyface or a heel? You would assume he's a heel, but just want to double check. There's a baby face. See, fuck me. Okay. Uh, I think we're going to put him against Cactus. That cherry front contract would be worth 365000 today. And that's a month. That's what they're paying him a month. They... They really wanted him. 
Yeah, I think it's just going to be Cactus. I think that's what we're going to do. Although Cactus is not super over. Actually, we have not booked Arn Anderson a single time. He's decently over. He's a heel. He's been working. He's it's, it's him and Bobby. That's the tag team. Although they're in the Dangerous Alliance. We can make that work, though. Steiners. Oh, is it Visco? Sure. Yeah. Austin's in it too. Okay, here's what we're going to do. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to do a big angle. Big angle. Or we're going to do Paulie going to be talking to Harley Race. And uh, Harley's going to be like, yeah, yo, Sting, uh, you know, he wants uh, he wants to get uh, his hands on uh, Lex Luger, but, uh, you know, Lex, Lex doesn't feel like uh, wrestling Sting this way. You know, Lex is, uh, he doesn't think Sting is worth his time. So I was thinking, maybe we could reach an agreement. Uh, you, you could take some of your guys, send them to me, and then, uh, you know, maybe in the future, one of you guys can get a title shot from Lex Luger. And then Paulie's going to be like, yeah, yeah, I, that's, we, I think we could do that. I think we could make that work. So Harley and Paul strike a deal. Been very fun doing this angle with Lex Luger just not here for a month. Loved every second of it. And then we will do another angle later. Where Sting. You know what? We'll give Sting. We'll, this will be a post match thing, but uh, I don't know what that match is yet, so we'll just book this first. Sting will get attacked by Arn. And. Beautiful Bobby. Beautiful Bobby being in quotes is fucked. I don't. I, <laughs> It doesn't come up when I type B. Uh, Arn Anderson, Beautiful Bobby, and Larry Zabisco will attack Sting. And then he will be saved by Rick and Scott Steiner. And that'll be our big match uh, for Clash of the Champions. We'll do a six-man tag. I'll just trade these guys on over this. Steiners, save Sting, form Dangerous Alliance, beat down. Go five minutes on that. Um, maybe that's our match. Maybe that's our main event match. It's like Sting versus one of those Dangerous Alliance guys. Maybe we do like Sting... See, do Sting and Arn, Sting and Beautiful Bobby. Arn would be more over. What's Larry Z? Larry Z is about the same. Larry Z. Sting will just... I'm just going to have Sting win by disqualification when he gets attacked. That's fine. Again, would I do this now? Would I like this now? No. Did this happen all the time in 1992? Absolutely. So Sting will then get attacked. We'll put Arn. And we'll put... Quote, beautiful Bobby. Oh, and, and if that wasn't enough, this will be our storytelling match. Alright, that, that settles that. 
you should have those advance the story. That that's a good call. That's a good call. The match two, for that matter, especially the match, honestly, the match will probably be the highest rated thing. A lot, of, a lot of notes. Doing doing a lot of heavy lifting with that one Sting and Larry Zabisco match. Alright, then we're going to do an angle. Uh, we're going to do... Actually, hold on. Is Vader... It's Big Van Vader every time. Is Big Van Vader... No, he is not managed by Harley Race currently. Harley Race is too busy with uh, uh, Lex Luger, which is actually fine. Because um, I have a ton of managers. We have Alexandra York. Arn Anderson is technically a manager. That's kind of weird. DDP. Eric Bischoff is technically a manager. Very funny. Jody Hamilton. Okay, Zabisco. Medusa. Is Medusa? Oh, she's in the Dangerous Alliance. Okay. Magnum TA. Magnum TA. I would assume he's a babyface, though. Yeah, he's a babyface. Michael Hayes. Oh, he's also a wrestler. Missy Hyatt. I don't know why I keep saying Hyatt's weird. Missy Hyatt managing Vader is very funny. Very hard to imagine that. Four minutes of fighting instead of five? Oh, okay. Raven. Raven's a manager. Uh, Teddy Long. You know what? I don't think Teddy Long has any clients. I could be wrong about that, but I don't think he does. Uh, so we're going. We're going to Big Van Vader. His manager is now Theodore Long. Sorry, Teddy Long. Teddy Long. Chemistry? Yeah, no, we have no idea. Alright. Angle. We'll go, I don't know, four minutes. Barry Windham, once again talking shit. About Vader. Teddy Long's gonna come... I walk up, be like, "Man, you better watch you watch you run your mouth about Vader." And then Barry Windham's gonna be like, "What do you care? Since since what do you care about Vader?" And then of course he will get attacked by Big Van Vader. Vader attacks Windham. Just gonna make sure this advances it. I'm, I think it would by default, but we're just gonna make sure. Actually, let's va let's rate Vader on fucking menace here. I'm sure he's great at that. Uh, and then if we're not gonna do that cactus and Bam Bam, or that cactus sting match, if we're gonna do that six man tag instead, we could have Bam Bam debut tonight as a baby face. So let's do a match. We're gonna do Cactus Jack. Take no, no. Who's he gonna take on? He could take on pretty much anybody. That's a baby face. PM News can ball a little bit. Let's put him out there at PN News. 
Give these guys 10 minutes. Cactus is just going to win. Then afterwards, we're going to do an angle. Where Cactus, the, der the deranged Cactus Jack, continues his attack on PN News. Before PN News is saved by the debuting Bam Bam Bigelow. Bam Bam is here. He's he's saving PN News. Everyone's happy. Our host division is getting going. Raven Mantis Cactus. I mean, listen, we're. I don't even know if we're doing a second stream of this. <laughs> we we can't do down the line book it. Uh, we, you know, we'll we'll see. We'll see. Again, if you're watching this on YouTube and you're like, he's got to do a second episode, leave a comment. Uh, let's see. We got 44 minutes left. Let's book these. Let's book these slight weights I signed. I mean, Sabu. Sabu and uh, Liger. Like, to me, that's the match. To me, that's the match. Although, like, it's something you would build to. So I would say Sabu. Who's, like, a little bit over. I don't know if this crowd hates when you put two not over people in a match. Although, I guess we're going to find out. Although maybe there's someone with a little bit of overness I could put him in. Like, I, maybe I could put him out there with Brad Armstrong. Uh, Tarnhold, subscribe to the Prime. Thank you, Tarnhold. Appreciate it. Z-Man. Oh, Johnny B. Bad. Johnny B. Bad. That's the match. Gotta be bad in Cebu. Ten minutes. You know what? You know what? I don't know if this is gonna... This might come back to bite me in the butt. I'm gonna tell them to steal the show. That might go bad. I don't know. We're gonna try it. Cebu <laughs> over El Gigante. I would like to not put El Gigante on television again. <laughs> if we could not do that. Uh, oh, he's extremely unhappy. Um... I mean, he is a lot more over than Sabu. Uh, Johnny B. Bad could be good, though. I, I probably shouldn't piss him off. Yeah, I probably shouldn't piss him off. Um, Alright, we're going to take Steal the Show off. Because... Oh, just changed to regular. Uh, and then we're going to keep... Johnny B. Bad strong. And since Sabu is an evil bad guy, uh, he could get a tainted win. Is Johnny B. Bad cool with that? Yes! Alright, let's go. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Okay, we have quite a bit of time left. Oh, we haven't done anything with Rick Rude and uh, Ron Simmons. Rude is in the Dangerous Alliance, right? Yeah, he is. Steve Austin has been... Okay. That sounds like a match. That sounds like a great match. Rick Rude. Steve Austin. Taking on Ron Simmons. And his girlfriend. His good friend is either Van Hammer or Junkyard Dog. Ah, uh, boy. 
and hammer is not great. Uh, junk hair dog is at least over though. Well, he's not that much more over than Van Hammer. All right, Skiff says Junkyard Dog. I don't know if Junkyard Dog can go 15 minutes. Let's make this like 12. Uh, we are going to give Rick Rude the win here over the Junkyard Dog. I'm actually, I'm actually fine with that being a clean win. Harley and Paul striking a deal thing should be like way down the card. That should be like at the beginning of the show. Uh, and then I'm going to do, you know, let's, let's give Ron Simmons a junkyard dog a promo. So it seems a little less random. You know, just him be like, oh, yeah, man, I got your back. I hate the Dangerous Alliance, too. You know, that kind of stuff. Medusa hits JOD with her high heel. I mean, that could be your head cannon. Uh, I'm, <laughs> I'm not going to protect JYD. Alright. Oh, we got to set up a tag match for the uh, Clash show. gonna take on Richard Morton and Tommy Rich I think they are I think they're taking on the York Foundation oh boy unify the tag we could unify the tag bouts that's I mean I've literally never booked you know that's a great idea because listen who knows how to book two tag titles it's that's hard so I Jesse Ventura who I guess is the the uh, like the the authority figure ish type thing. Ventura announces tag title unification match for Clash. We'll rate him, and then we'll have Dustin and Ricky. And Tracy Smothers, and I think it's Steve. It's Steve, right? These guys will all be off screen. Uh, and this this will probably be rated well, so we're gonna advance uh, the Dustin and Ricky story. Uh, oh, we are like almost out of time. All right, I'm going to do three-minute Dustin and Ricky promo. And uh, they, they can't wait to become the, the Unified Tag Team Champions. What a great opportunity. Ricky can't wait to win Unified tag titles Dustin seems less interested again we're going to advance this uh yeah open with Ventura why not 
People, people love Jesse. Uh, you know what? Let's. This might be a terrible idea. Let's give Tracy and Steve a promo. Uh, I'm gonna script them. I don't trust them. North American titles are the real titles. That's basically it. No, I don't trust Tracy on the mic. This show is going on TV, Skiff. <laughs> the FTC is going to kill me. Uh, we, we need one more minute. everyone we needed to although i would like to book some dark matches because you know we bought a bunch of people in so let's go dark match let's do a tag with some of our new people so let's do like too cold Too cold in Ultimo. What a team. And they will take on... Uh, I kind of like Chris and Jerry possibly being a team. Although I really want to see how Eddie is. Because Eddie seems like he's very good. We're just going to put him against Eddie and Chris. This is a sick match. Uh, it's it's gonna like make it to the newsletter that this was the dark match, and people people are gonna be like, "Oh, they didn't put that on TV." Oh, oh, I didn't find out about it until three weeks later when I got this newsletter in the mail. Oh, uh, I think Eddie should win. Eddie seems like he will be the best of these guys, but uh, we'll have it be tainted. I, I don't think we need Jumping Jeff Farmer. I don't think that's true. All right. I think we're going to do better than the last Saturday night just because this was... Uh, we're not going to get dinged for the storylines. Mike, awesome. Ooh. Ooh, good call. Ooh, good call. Just having to squash him, buddy. The Italian Stallion. Did a good job getting squashed the other week. Five minutes. Mike Awesome. Mike Dominates. Oh, Dark Match, please. Thank you. Alright, let's let's do it. It's got a twenty-eight. Uh, why did this do so bad? 44, 43, and it got a 28? What happened here? Uh, announcing quality was very low experience. Uh, is that gonna hurt this whole show? I hope not. It can't have been that, right? I don't know. I don't know why this did so bad. I mean, this is more in line with what it should get. Maybe because it was so short? I don't know. Uh, I was right, though, that Eddie is the best of these guys. He got a 50. Although, Ultimo, right behind him with a 44. Too Cold and Chris, 35 and 36. They were fine also. Too Cold's fun babyface gimmick is great. Ultimo's luchador gimmick is awful. Okay. 
Uh, Eddie's old school heel is adequate, and Chris Candido's cocky gimmick is great. Oh, too cold and Scorpio. Uh, too cold and <clears throat> too cold Scorpio and Ultimo Dragon had zero chemistry. Uh, and neither do Eddie and Chris. Great. <laughs> uh, yeah. So this this match actually could have been way better if anyone could have worked together at all. So that's great. Uh, yeah, us talking is a cheat code. I'm glad we picked someone that's uh, over and can talk as my player character. Because uh, this this save didn't really have any avatars. It was just like, pick someone, anyone. And I was like, fuck, I don't know. Just I just went into like retired wrestlers and picked somebody. Oh, this this didn't... Uh, the crown turned off by having a match outside the pre-show between workers that they are not invested in. Yeah, I was afraid this would happen. Although I thought Johnny B. Bad would be over enough, but I guess not. Um, yeah, so I think we know what happened with that Mike Awesome match. The crowd really hates watching people that aren't over. They just, they hate it. They don't like it at all. So we've got a 50, though, so that's good. When he wrestles Jushin Liger, it will be good, because Jushin Liger is over. Uh, this got a 72. I'll take that. Pretty sure Dustin did well off script last time, so I guess he's just not consistent with it. Paul E and Harley Race talking got an 81. Like that. Uh, Simmons JYD, 57. You know, not the world's greatest talkers. <laughs> Young Pistols got a 40. Yep. Uh, Cactus of PNU has got a 59. I'll take that. That's fine. They had good chemistry. That's good. And here's Bam Bam. Uh, it's got a 46. Okay. Their match should be good. So there's that at least. Uh, 68 on this tag. I will take that. Very much off of Rick Rude. Teddy Long is now managing Vader, who then beat up Barry Windham. Okay, great. Ooh, Sting and Larry Z only got a 64. Larry was off his game, but that, that does not bode well for my uh, upcoming Sting world title reign here. A little worried about that. And then a 56 here. Sixty-nine. It was better than our last show, but I still lost his popularity. So not great. I really thought Sting and Larry Z was gonna get me in the seventies. That that kind of killed us. It was not nice, Daniel. We lost popularity. It was sixty-nine bad. I know that's hard to believe, but that's what happened. Look how mad Plum Mariko is about it. William Regal's here. Sorry, Steven Regal's here. Uh, Tom Zanks doing indies. Ricky Morton's doing indies. I uh, look what George South is doing in the ring. Get that kid some time. Sure. All right, now we got to take main event, and then we can do Clash in five days. I think this is where we booked main event last time, but it's main event. I don't... That's fine. I don't care. <laughs> All right, let's... Uh... We didn't book Liger on the show. Let's put, let's put Liger out here. Oh, I don't really just want to throw him in with one of the good matches. Although, again, maybe I should. Because I'm just, I don't know how we're going to keep doing this. Who knows? Uh, 
Hey, we were just talking about George South. He can go out there with Juicy Thunder Liger. Uh, I mean, that is that is kind of funny. I kind of wanted to book that match. Uh, I think Sabu is the match we're going to do at Clash. So I'm going to send him out here with with mom haircut Jerry Lynn. Although, oh, is Liger over enough? Is the crowd going to be mad? How over is Jushin Thunder Liger? No, recognizable. Okay, no, this will be fine. So Liger takes on mom haircut Jerry Lynn. I'm going to tell them to steal the show. I don't, we'll see how that goes. Uh, not a title match, that's fine. And then Sabu is going to attack Liger afterwards. Giving Jerry the soccer mom gimmick, yeah. Okay, kids, get in the van. Well, I got the orange slices for you. Oh, you know what I should do? I should, uh... Steve Austin does not have a TV title match for Clash of Champions, and he, he should. He should do that. Oh, Mudasan. Last match. Yeah, that's what we'll do. Uh, we will not. We will not put Muda. You know what? I'm not even going to risk it and say he's off screen. We'll. We'll just. It'll be head cannon. Steve Austin. Entertainment. Austin. Muta at Clash. Okay. Vegas stud. What? No. No. <laughs> so you're telling me you want me to switch the North American titles on the B show when I've already promoted the match for Clash of Champions for Vinny Vegas and the Diamond Stud. Who are not over. That's what you're telling me you want to do right now. And a heel heel match against the Young Pistols. Uh, no, I mean, listen, I'll book them, but <laughs> that's, I'm not doing that. Uh, who can they wrestle? I don't have enough joggers, man. Never thought I'd say that, but I do not have enough joggers. Who's Todd Champion? Don't know, but he could lose this match. And my good friend, the Italian Stallion. Actually, are Vinny Vegas and the Diamond Stud over enough? Is the game going to yell at me? Uh, recognizable. No, that's fine. This probably doesn't. It's probably six minutes. It's probably good on this. Uh, does face heal not matter on the B show? I, I genuinely don't know. Is there a partner Cactus Jack could have? Oh. Oh. Okay.
Bam Bam and PN News are cutting a promo. Bam Bam tells Cactus to bring a partner to Clash and is then attacked by the aforementioned Cactus Jack and Abdullah the Butcher. Is Abby not here? Alright. I guess they just cut the promo then. Also, letting PN News talk. I don't know. See how that goes. Uh, oh, I'm not rating anyone on anything. <laughs> nope. Alright. Why is Abdullah the Butcher not here? He's in all Japan. I mean, fair enough. Uh, Alright, I gotta put some kind of, like, half-decent match on this show. Just, you know, gotta give people something here. I mean, I know I gave them a Liger match, but it's 1992, and they're not going to be happy that I gave them a Liger match, you know? They're going to be like, what was... What was this? This guy's dressed funny. What is this? I don't... I don't understand. Let's do... Z-Man's a babyface. I keep forgetting Z-Man is a babyface, because that's weird. This this is our big main event we're giving people. We're giving, <laughs> we're giving them the Z-Man. Uh, oh, I just forgot who I was going to book him with. Oh, and Johnny B. Bad. Against Richard Morton and Tommy Rich. Sorry, Richard Morton and Thomas Rich. That that's our big match. Uh, we are going to give Richard Morton the win with interference. To Z-Man from Alexander York. That's a B show match. That's a B show match. Alright, let's give them something a little less of a B show. Sting. Rick Steiner. Scott Steiner. Sting Steiner's promo for the big six man tag. Which advances the Lex Luger storyline. Don't don't think too hard about it. Don't ask. It just does. Okay. Just just work with me here. All right. That, that's all I ask. So I should I should rate them. I should rate them. I'm not gonna script them. We'll see how that goes. Uh, I think I could book like one more squash match with her laptop. Yes, with her 50 pound 1992 laptop. Yeah, Z Man's gonna die. Uh, who's who's a who's a big boy who needs a big squash? Uh, 
Uh, Ron Simmons looking to gain some momentum going into his match. With Rick Rude. Going to give him six minutes. He is going to dominate George South. Oh, we would not. Uh, currently, you're saying six, so you would not be penalized. Okay, we don't. We're good. We didn't do anything else. I guess that's fine. I don't. I don't know, man. Basically, we have a long match at the beginning and a long match at the end, and there's just, just a bunch of stuff happens in between. Bunch of stuff. Oh, I said George would dominate. Thank you, Skiff. That would have been very bad. Also, did I? Okay, I want to make sure I haven't literally done this. I just, whenever I set dominate, I just, I don't even think, like, obviously the person I picked is going to dominate. I don't, I just want to double click it. Alright, chat, give me a dark match. Who haven't we debuted yet? I guess Regal's here. Uh, I don't think, did I book Jericho in that match? I don't think I did. All right, we'll do Chris Jericho. Uh, Chris Jericho and William Regal, why not? I'm sorry, Steven Regal. Dark match, eight minutes. I think Jericho has literally, yeah, he has like literally no overness. He has a one, so Steven can win. Uh, and that's it. That's the show. It's a B show. Who cares? Yeah, you know what? This got a 50. That's all right. That's okay. Uh, Regal's Blue Blood got an awful, and Chris Jericho's Fun Babyface got a poor. Okay, I don't know about that. Hey, a 61 on Liger and Jerry Lynn. I'll take it. I'll take it. Some nobody's wrestling Liger getting a 61. I told them to steal the show. I, I believe it worked. Crowd's hot now. And then they watched Sabu. In my head, Sabu like jabbed a fork into Liger's head over and over. That was this attack angle. So then George South got a 58. This is what I expect to see from squashes. That's a, that's a nice, nice solid squash. This promo got a 59. Steiners are kind of killing me. Uh, Scott liked it though. Scott just he did a he did a Steiner math promo 15 years early. Uh, <laughs> Somehow these two talking wasn't great. Also, never realized that Bam Bam and Pia News are just the same guy. Never really saw it until they were right next to each other. That that's a that's born to be a tag team right there. Uh, 49 on this match. That's, yep. Yeah. Yep. 69 for Steve Austin talking. Nice. This The big match we gave people got a 53. <laughs> Our big match. Uh, what are you going to do? We had to book the York Foundation at least once. We had to do it. 57. That's fine. Who's here? Oh, Abby wants more money. I book Abby for a Clash of the Champions match, and he wants more money. Uh, Andrew's appearance is a lot lower. 
50% increase. Yeah. Yeah, well, I'm annoyed, so that makes two of us, buddy. Alright, four days. Alright. Alright, chat, we're doing this clash, and then we're gonna call it, and then... Who knows when we'll see WCW again. Could be a while. Half show business doing gangbusters, baby. I, I love uh, the photos like this that are just very clearly still shots from like a tape. Just the worst image quality you've ever seen in your life. Ooh, Superstar's got a new time slot. On Samurai TV. Top news story. Okay, alright. 24-9 on for World War, uh, WCW. Oh, are we beefing? Trouble appears to be brewing between WF and WCW, with the former apparently now considering themselves at war. Sources inside WF tell us that they expect that things to get very ugly over the coming months. Well... WWF is uh, trying to kill their competition. Go figure. Typical. The Pirates. Oh boy, it really is 1992 WWF, huh? Uh, main event figures, okay. No, no one watches main event. Uh, Eddie Gilbert is the NWA champion. Okay. I guess I could book the NWA title via the Alliance, but I don't. I don't really care to do that. Yeah, I mean, you can't really have a Monday Night War if we don't have a show on Monday night, but we could just have a, a regular war. We could just have a war war. Death Booker won the belt. Yeah, go figure. Crazy. Okay, went to the Great Lakes and drew a whopping 500 fans. All right, here we go. Clash time. Southeast, that's fine. No, generic venue. Oh, I hate generic venues. Steve Armstrong, what did you do? Bar set up a barbecue. Yeehaw! Uh, Gordon Soli. Uh, cartoons, alright. What did these guys do? Oh! He's his protege. Okay. Great. What is Turner Premier, a cable-based pay-per-view provider that is owned by TBS? Never heard of it. Uh, apparently it's bigger than TBS, though. TBS is a medium, and Turner Premier is... Uh, big, so we're, I guess we're going to put it on there. I don't know. Use this broadcaster. Okay, uh, this, this is a period inappropriate Clash of the Champions logo. All right. Oh, we're drawing 30,000 fans for this show? Okay, no wonder. Uh, and this, this is just everything, huh? Yeah, there's, there's not going to be anything big enough. I'm glad the Venice Community Center is there, though. That is my, like, local Florida Loop, uh, you know, NXT house show venue. I'm glad that's there. All right, we're just going to run the Memphis Pyramid, I guess. That holds 20K. That's close enough. Q 
check the absent workers. Great idea, great idea. Abby's not here. Uh, so, so much for that. Cactus Jack's gonna need a new partner. Is anyone, anyone out here? I, sh I should check by, like, Ovenus. We got uh, Demolition Axe, everyone's favorite. Uh, really, Robinson? I don't. Why? Why is he? I guess he would. I guess he was living in the southeast at this time. I don't know. Uh, mo mostly old guys that are over. I guess no real surprise there. All right, we'll just check someone from the roster. Fuck it, man. All right. What's the main event of this show? Is it the U.S. title match? Is it the six-man tag? I don't know. Without the Luger match, it's kind of... I don't know. We'll figure it out. Let's just book everything that we know is on the card. Let's start with the six-man tag. Six-man tag, not even one of the default match options. Uh, 3v3. We'll go 16 minutes, I guess. So we got Stang. We got Rick Steiner. We got Scott Steiner. Taking all on and beautiful Bobby and Larry Z. Eh, let's go like 18. Uh, and oh, Larry Z, you cannot road agent this. Get out of here. We're gonna get Sting the win. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much that. <laughs> Uh, we know the tag title match is on here. So we'll go 15 on that. We will do Ricky and Dustin taking on Steve Armstrong and Tracy Smothers. We'll put we'll put both of them on the line, man. WCW World and the United States. Uh, Ricky's gonna win again. We'll give these guys storytelling. Do an angle. Dustin and Ricky. Dustin is still jealous. It was real smart of me to do a slow burn angle on a thing I might not ever play again. That was very smart. I'm I'm very good at this. Alright, that's definitely happening. We got Vader and Barry Windham, that's definitely happening. Yeah, he was, he was, listen, Steve Armstrong was politic and brother. He was like, oh, I cook them all barbecue. They won't have me lose. They can't, they wouldn't do that, right? Guess again, brother. All right, we are going to have Vader win, but there will be interference from his new manager, Teddy Long. Teddy Long is going to be the difference here. He cannot be. Oh, he's a ref too. We should fix that. Uh, Randy Anderson, sure. Hey, uh, Teddy, now that you're a heel manager, I kind of need you to stop being a ref. It's kind of weird. Thanks. Uh, then we'll do Rude and Simmons. I kind of feel like Rude and Simmons should be the main event. It's also a title match. We 
Though I don't know how good Rick is. And Ron's only been okay. I don't know. I kind of gave myself a show with no, uh, no main event. But this is this is all Lex Luger's fault. Also, it's the WWF's fault for throwing a bajillion dollars at Terry Funk. Uh, well, listen. I think Rick, we can't do we can't can't do it yet, brother. You know, we got Rick Rude's got to win this match. Uh... I don't think they could steal the show. I don't think that at all. <laughs> uh, although I am going to add an angle afterwards. Uh, Simmons gets his hands on Paul E. and and slams him as Rude runs away. So I'll just be Ron. Uh, I'll probably just do him on Overmiss here. And then Paul. Acting, I guess. He's going to do the very, like, no, no, don't slam me, Ron. Ron, please, I beg of you. Wild Brawl? Ah, uh, they might be able to have a Wild Brawl. Let me check here. Uh, 55, 63. Yeah, Root's just not great. The only thing he's really good at is psychology. Yeah, I probably... Yeah, yeah probably not. Ron's, like, okay at brawling. Like, if I put Ron in with someone who was a good brawler, I would feel okay about Wild Brawl. But, yeah, probably just gonna leave it where it is, like, in the middle of the card. I think Vader and Barry Windham will even be better. What else do we have? Uh, oh, we have to figure out the... Okay, well, also we have... We have Stunning Steve. Taking on the Great Muda. Who is luckily here. Mood is very over and very good. But he's leaving, so I mean, Steve basically has to win this match. I will give them, like, 16. I'll give them, I'll give them time. We'll go television title. I'm gonna try to have Steve win clean, see if Muda will do it. This is young man Muda. Maybe he's into doing jobs in his younger days. Yeah, he's cool with it. Okay, great. And then we are doing... We're gonna do Sabu and Jushin Liger for the light heavyweight title. Liger is gonna win, and these guys are gonna steal the show. And then. This is when Moodle. Yeah, this is where he learned. And then we, we were going to do a 2-on-2, two two, although maybe we will just do the Bam Bam Cactus match. So I would need another good brawler to team with Cactus. Oh, Mike Awesome! Mike Awesome can brawl. I feel like he would probably hurt the match a lot. Yeah, he's very not over. Raven, I mean, Raven can brawl too, but I mean, same problem. He's very not over. Yeah, we're just gonna do the. We're just. We're just. Change of plans. Abdul the Butcher could not be here tonight. So it will now be Bam Bam and Cactus, one on one. Uh, these guys are gonna do the wild brawl. 
And you know what? I'm going to do... I'm going to have these guys go to a draw. This match is going to get thrown out because it's too crazy. That'll be... That's how we'll keep this going. So we'll go draw. We will go wild brawl. Is that exact finish here? Like matches thrown out or whatever? Uh, it probably is, but I, I don't, I don't care enough. This is fine. And then uh, we just need to add a bunch of talking, because otherwise uh, we'll get yelled at. I think this will be better than... I really don't have a lot of faith in Rick Rude or Ron Simmons. Although the, this this save does care a lot if we're doing... Uh, people are over. Yeah, we're doing w, uh, WCW 1992. Is Nick Nick uh, couldn't be here this week. But we'll probably be back to AEW next week, but I don't know. We'll see. If, if WCW 92 does well, I, I might... You know, maybe I'll do two saves, like two videos a week. We'll see. Um, all right, let's let's do some stuff here. Let's do some stuff. I guess uh, I don't know what match to put last because I feel like the six man tag is only gonna be okay. I feel like Steamboat and Rhodes versus Young. It's probably too high on the card as it is. Vader and Barry Window will be good, but it's like it could t keep the feud going match. Uh, Rick Rude and Ron Simmons. I like. I feel like that should be the main event, but I don't trust it. Bam Bam and Cactus will be good. Steven Muda. I have, I don't know about Steven Muda. I mean, it is a title match, but like, I don't know. Neither one of them are like. Oh, Steve's a little over. Muda. Muda's over. I guess I will say Muda is over. Um, although, I don't know. I mean, if the game does care about people being over, Sting is over. Damn, Mood is more over than the Steiners. That's crazy. Although, Arn is over. Bobby's a little over. Larry Z's a little over. Recruit is getting 70 match rating. Is he? Can we double check that? Match history. I have only booked him once. And yeah, Rick Rude got a 79. Okay, that's the main event. We're overthinking this. Yeah, overness matters a lot in this uh, product. So we're gonna, that's, that's the main event. I mean, just <laughs> period, end of sentence. That's the main event. All right, let's book some promos. Oh, we also we have to move that angle. This is now close. Paulie getting body slammed is now closing the show, which is fine. I mean, send send the people home happy, you know. Let's, uh, you know what we'll do? We'll have Harley race cut a promo on Sting afterwards from, like, backstage. Harley race not impressed by Sting's win. Luger will crush him. We will advance this Luger and Sting storyline, which has been going great. Love that Lex is sitting out his contract or whatever. That's very fun for me. Okay. Cactus should say Abby isn't there. That's a good point. K 
Cactus says Abby is stuck in Japan, but he doesn't need no partner. I should probably, I feel like I should have promos before and after that. Gotta have a Dusty match. Um, Dusty can cut a promo. If we, if we really just want to juice this ra rating, you know what I mean? Where can we put this? After Bam Bam and Cactus, what would, what would Dusty even be talking about? Cactus, I'm not going to do the voice. <laughs> Cactus Bam Bam was the wildest thing I've ever seen, Daddy. We got a great show. It's just SNL host Dusty, <laughs> Dusty Rhodes is out here to... Tell you this show's good. Oh, he's commentating. Okay. Uh, n you're not just... He stands up from the booth to tell everybody this. Peter Barry Windham. No, he doesn't tell Dustin to stop yet. We're too early on this thing. That's not going to happen. Um, I feel like we should have something between this and the Young Pistols match. Yeah, I guess Dusty could have said something there. Although, we'll, uh, here, we'll do Angle. We'll do Ricky. And Dustin. Ricky wants to win and be tag champs forever. Dustin rolls his eyes. This is just the Chris Statlander and Yuka storyline I'm doing in AEW. But with <laughs> Ricky Steamboat and Dusty Rhodes. Same, you know. Ricky Steamboat, Yuka Sakazaki. Fucking potato, potato. All right, uh, we've we've basically booked this as much as we can. We only have five minutes left. We're probably already over what would actually happen. Uh... Oh, Jesse's not on the show. Oh, Jesse. Sending Jesse and Dusty out there to do five-minute promos is just cheating. It's just cheating. Jesse's going to go out there after the Cruiserweight match and go, That's the kind of action you can expect to see here in the new WCW. Alright, that, that is officially all of our time. Uh, we can do a dark match. Let's do a big stupid dark match. Let's do like an eight man tag or a ten man tag or something. Four v four. Uh, let's go, Brian Pillman. You you should have been on the show, Brian. Uh, okay, I'm gonna uh, I'm just gonna be stupid if you guys don't mind. Brian Pillman, Chris Jericho, PN News who got bumped. 
And of course, their good friend, El Gigante, uh, will take on the heel team of Eddie Guerrero. Raven, Vinny Vegas, and the Diamond Stud. What a match. Eight minutes. Uh, is anyone in this match over? PN you know what? PN News was supposed to be on the main show. I feel bad for him. We'll give PN News the win. That's our big dark match. I have no idea what this show is going to get. No, I'm going to hope we break 70, but I have no idea. Uh, 52 on this dark. I'll take that. Jericho was off his game. El Gigante. El Gigante has been off his game every match <laughs> for his entire career. So that checks out. Yeah, he's getting 26s. He's very not good. Uh, Raven's getting better at his gimmick. That's good. DDP was out there. All right, 63 on Cebu and Jushin. That's good. Uh, Liger, Liger's that guy. Then Jesse Ventura came out and went, oh, what a match. There's, there's been a conspiracy in wrestling to keep you from seeing guys like Sapu and Jushin Liger. But today I'm showing you the truth. Oh, also in a great mood, uh, both off their game. Oh, Skiff, Skiff, you told me to put this as the main event. Uh, this, this, this would have been very bad. I don't, I don't really know what happened here. It just, it was just bad. It just wasn't good. Uh, Cactus got a promo. He, d he don't need no, uh, no tag team partner. He's got a 66. I was hoping this would be better. These two were really good at brawling. Although Bam Bam is not, like, super over currently. He is not, like, 90s superstar Bam Bam. And neither is Cactus, for that matter. Oh, ho, 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 shucky ducky. Yeah, that's, uh... Yeah, just Dusty Rhodes being Dusty Rhodes gets a 90. That checks out. We should be using Dusty more. Okay, 70 on Vader Wyndham. I'll take that. I'll take that. This continues thanks to Teddy Long. 71 on this promo. Ooh, 73 on the match. This really over delivered, although it was really all Ricky Steamboat. Ricky Steamboat is fucking god tier in this save. Uh. Yeah, they told a story. They're the unified tag champs. Everything's going great here for Steamboat and Rhodes. And then Dustin side-eyed him. Yeah, 65 on this six-man tag. I really hope Simmons and Rick Rude beats that because this was just, eh, it's all right. Although Sting got a 75, so I'm feeling a little bit better about him being the champion and beating Luger eventually. Uh, it was really it was really Sting and five mid-carters, which is why this didn't do great. I gotta say, the Steiners getting like 50s and 60s has been brutal. 92 Steiners is like peak Steiners. They ruled. Uh, 68 for Harley Race being like, ah, you suck, Sting. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> All right, Rick Rude and Ron, here we go. 75. Okay. It was the main event. We did pick the right match to go last. So at least there's that. Uh, I think, I, what was the finish of this? I think, I think Paul E hit Ron Simmons with the phone. That was the finish, right? I don't have to vacate the NA Tag Titles. The Steamboat and uh, Dustin won them. They were both on the line. And then Paulie got slammed. Oh, 76. That's higher than I thought it would be. I guess I was from cheesing it with the Ventura and Dusty promos. 
I thought that was going to get like a 71 or a 70 even. I'll take a 76 though. We needed that. We needed it bad. This is the best show we've done by far. Oh, we didn't get to do a uh, sp any speeches or anything. Well, that's a shame. I mean, they're, you know, they're unified. They have both belts. That's unified. Uh, mood isn't gone. Jim Ross body type change. Going from Flabby to out. Hey, good for him. I mean, that he's an announcer. That doesn't mean anything, but, you know, great. Uh, Scott Steiner is going to be a star. Thanks, Ricky Steamboat. You, got the, you were right about that one. He did become a star. That's good. Chris Jericho is bunny, says George South. All right, thanks, George. You guys are two for two with these predictions. Uh, Clash of Champions. Got 500,000 viewers. And then also a buy rate. I don't... I don't understand what this thing that we put the show on is. I don't know. That's some relic of the 90s that I don't remember. Uh... I did, I'm just double checking that I did, in fact, put them, yeah, they have both titles. They can have both, it's fine, I don't, <laughs> they can carry four belts around, that's fun. It's fun when guys have a lot of belts, you know? Alright, well that's gonna do it for this WCW stream, thanks for tuning in everybody. Like I said, I don't really know if this is gonna keep going, but, uh, like I said, if you liked it, if you wanna see more, let me know, I'll see if I could, like, you know, maybe do a Tuesday stream and a... Friday stream? Saturday stream? Maybe I'll just record the WCW on my free time and then upload it to YouTube. I don't know. We'll do something. If, if people like it and enjoy it, I'll, I'll try to find a way to fit it on there. But next Tuesday will be the AEW stream, and that will be back. Me and Nick booking AEW Dynamite and Collision. So if you missed that, it is coming back. Uh, but until then, yeah, you know, like, comment, subscribe. Tune in next Tuesday at 8 o'clock Eastern here at twitch.tv slash and that's going to be it. Bye, everybody.